All right, everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Saviors of the Sword Coast. It is February 6th, and we are, uh, we've got our party hanging out in Ley Lawn, sunbathing on the wharf. No, they're um, getting ready so for, some, for some tough times coming up for this town. And uh, so what were you saying that everyone needs to do who's watching this? Smash the like and subscribe buttons. Yeah, smash. And, and ring the bell. I don't know. Ring coming. the bell, that's right. I, I every, who knows what we'll do to you. I know. I think for everyone that that does that, we will give them one of the party's inventory items. <laughs> Just not and my not sword. Great. No, I'm sorry, not, not my rod. Nope. Except for, well, I mean, yeah. we'll get you down to a loincloth, and that's the, that we, that we'll never auction that off. This is a family friendly show. My loincloth and my rod. <laughs> my armor, my ring, and my, mal and my malachite. <laughs> just not, just not your, your paper airplane. I don't have a paper airplane. You do. Yeah. Anaya's not, not in my inventory. <laughs> oh, These are fair. Her person. Her celestial spirit in the body of a, of a paper pseudo-dragon. Okay, so here we are. We've got... Let's, uh, let us begin. So, tonight... Uh, we begin with um, a dark, roiling mist that um, surrounds Zith everywhere. And as he um, stands up, he was he was sleeping, but apparently this mist rolled in um, across the the island that he was on and to the point where one of the statues that he camped near um, and had a fire set near I, are no longer viewable. They were there when he first uh, came out of his meditation, but it's so thick now he can't even see that. Mm. So you stand, Zith, and um, as you begin to walk, you feel yourself um, take on a somewhat ghostly visage. You kind of almost transform a little bit um, to like the, the, the proverbial green glowing, you know, bones and all this kind of stuff. And um, you zoom forward through the mist where you enter a dark um, wooden structure it has curved wooden walls. And you begin to hear the strumming of a, a web, uh, a like a, a lyre or a lute. And um, you recognize the tune. You recognize the, the deep sorrowful tune of the, the, the old civilization of Anaria. Yep. And then you suddenly move up through decks of the ship as, and you go to the crow's nest of this ship way up high. And this is a, it's a very tall crow's nest where you can see out and about, and the mist is a little thinner here, just a little. And uh, you do see, because you've been there, I believe you've all been to Neverwinter, haven't you? Yeah. You see yeah. Castle Never 
you see Castle River um, in the distance. <clears throat> and some of the other buildings there, you see some of the earth moats. You see two of the earth moats floating above the, uh, above the ocean, just outside of Neverwinter. And you see uh, the, the bridges that cross the um, Neverwinter River. Um, and as you, uh, you look down a little bit and you see that there is a ship um, in, the, uh, in the sea ahead of you, full sails trying to outrun your fog bank of uh, Mr. Ron and such. And it's, the fog just overtakes it. You just, as you look down, it has just overtaken the, the ship beneath, and you hear screams and cries, and you hear um, just, instead of steel on steel of a sword fight, you just hear the slicing and rending of flesh and more screams as whatever has happened below, the crew of your ship have take have boarded the other ship and just wiped them out. Mm -hmm. And then um, you, re you, you feel like you're backing up. But maybe not so much. Maybe you've just come to a halt. And the other ship is now sailing onward into Neverwinter and docking um, right inside of the, the harbor. And then as the sh some amount of time passes and the ship returns, and as it returns, you kind of look intently closer and closer at the oncoming ship. And on that ship, you, you recognize, Zith, your captain, Farolai Stormsworn. Oh. And you are anxious for her return. And then very quickly, almost like squirrel, you, you latch on in your vision to some chests and some crates and w one of the chests is open and you you see some of the contents of that of that chest and some of the contents of this chest are look like um art um like uh, golden um vases or um like candelabra kind of you know these kind of trappings and you see, um, as you see those and you kind of focus in on those, all of a sudden your mind is taken back um, thousands of years, a couple thousand years, right? To uh, another building where you recognize a, a table along the wall almost like a, a serving table or something. And maybe this is like a banquet hall or a dining hall of some sort. It seems really plush. And it's all um, very uh, stately appointed um, with gold, um, uh, various um, silverware, like with, but it's gold and other things huge bowls and then there's art on the wall and gold filigree um tapestries etc and you recognize some of the things in that chest as being right on this and this is why you were your mind was brought back so the you get very excited that since you can't go home some of home has come to you mm. And this is good because the one who sings is weak and not able to sing as he once was. Mm. He grows weak and you were 
concerned that without his constant reminders of home, that uh, you would have fallen forever into despair. But now, some of home is coming to you. And then you wake up, and it's cold, and it is damp, and there was a fog. Um, it has lifted a little bit um, as the sun has begun to come up. But um, you can see Leilon through the fog and the tower of Thalavar um, rising, rising up into the, the morning sunbeam. It's a new Sith day. would be very pleased with the, uh, with, he didn't know if coming out here was going to be worth his time. He's still unpacking, uh, uh, what he's seen and still trying to make sense of it. He's not quite sure about the connection between the singing man and him, but he, he, you know, he understands that there is a connection there, um, and to that place. Um, when I go back, I probably wouldn't share everything with the guys, just telling them sort of I'm trying to sort it out is a very confusing dream. But um, I did see uh, this fog of death and the de and the death knot um, overtaking Neverwinter. Um, and I would mention that we saw, so was Fairly on the ship that got attacked or she was on the dreadnought as it came back? Um, the vision itself isn't clear, but you have an, a sense that she led the attack onto that ship and then used that ship to approach. Got it. Got it. Okay. I would, sh I would share that Farrelly, um was, you know, leading the charge, um, which she was not on the Dreadnought the first time we were there, right? She was not part of that scene. She was. She was? She yeah, almost that, killed me several times. Led to a big fight. Oh, oh, right. She was. I forgot about that. Um... I wouldn't share with the team that my um, in in the vision, at least, that I had some. Um, you know, I was. It seemed like I was anxious for her to to return, and I was awaiting her, and I was connected to to her somehow. That's how you describe it, right, Jim? Um, just as, as like you said, anxious, but it didn't seem ship. like in a bad way. No, anxious. Anxious, looking forward to her. Looking return. forward to her return. Yeah, I w I would definitely would not share that part <laughs> with with them, um, and that's the part I'd be trying to unpack, or part of what I'd be trying to unpack. Um, Probably has to do with her bringing back what she promised to bring back. What did she promise? I need keen mind, right? Um, I, I, I can't ask you that. Uh, does anybody remember what, what she was supposed to bring back? I don't remember. I don't think there was anything mind. about anything in your previous encounters. Oh, 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 got it, got it. Yeah. This okay. has something to do with she's bringing back what she promised to bring. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, I would share about the ne Neverwinter and the, and the Fog and the Dreadnought, for, for sure. Everything else I would sort of keep to, my, to, to myself until it sorts out a bit. Okay. But that was a great, you painted a great theater of mine there, Jim. I, I appreciate that. Cool. All right. So what's next? What are you going to do next? Nice is tapping on the table. As much as I would like to be proactive about dealing with Feli, we do still have a job to do right now. What? We have to deal with, the, with those bandits that, that are in that Inavar's Tower, I think it was called. <clears throat> so you want to go to hit, hit J on your keyboard. That'll bring up your quest log. 
I know that this is Tanae is saying you can't quite remember the name of the tower. Mm. Sorry, I'm 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 not Falavar's tower tower, right? It, you're talking about a tower yeah. outside of town. Yeah, some guy called Innovars. I Yeah. It's in Innovars the probably... man. That's where we're heading for next. That's what I thought we were doing, right? Yeah. 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 Although after th that, unless something comes up with Merkel, I think we need to focus our efforts on Talos. You know Zith is with you. And Zith, I have a very, very difficult task for you. Try not to get arrested again. Zith would just smile. You have to understand, I don't care that, that what you were doing. I trust you enough to know you, you at least thought you were doing the right thing. It just was not the right time to do that. When we were known to be in the building. I will look forward to including you in my plans more often, can I, can I, as Zith would say. This is how I caught you in the first time, the first time we met. Is your no advantage this that you can be a little bit impulsive when it comes to crime? Mm, I need you to be sloppy. I roll. I get it. I'm not on my own anymore, Canaeus. You can stop the lecture. Okay. I have a question. I have a question about where, where in the mirror of the of dead men is this, and can the wizard folk help us out, or at least take us there? Who are you asking? Just the, the group in general. What they do you move. need to do in the mirror? Well, we're going we're going to Inverse Towers. It's in the mirror of the dead men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we know where it is, right? We have a general idea of where it is. Right, Jim? Those who have traveled the high road may or may not have noticed much about it. There are several ruins along the road between Waterdeep and um, and Leylon, for example. But, uh, you know, the, the whole Forgotten Realms, the whole Sword Coast is filled with ruins of ancient uh, civilizations. Uh, so it's not crazy to, you know, not pay a whole lot of attention. But what you understand is that Inyarv's Tower is on the east side of the high road and um, it overlooks the high road and the mirror of dead men. There are probably lots of legends that you may or may not have ever heard or you could find out about Inyarv and Inyarv's tower. Well, I mean, we do have a. So we're a going in blind. Go ahead. I guess we're going in blind again. Yeah, for I mean, that's kind of our thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jim, um, we're, we're to get there. We're heading south out of town, right? The yes. mirror is south. Yep. yep. And as we're going south, could, could we stop by the camp where the town leaders tend to sure. stay? Or if they're, yep. I will. Can, there, uh, can I ask? We're going to pass right, right right by the town council's quarters. Um, should we maybe ask some of them if they've heard of this tower? They've clearly been here longer than us. Maybe there's sure. something they could share. Yeah. I promise I won't steal anything. And I like tiptoe and run away to the front of, the, of our little line. Don't steal anything without my permission. I'm watching like, we will go. Okay, so I guess we could do we need does everyone have everything they need? Uh you you uh, I don't know where we left off on inventory. You guys got everything you needed, right? You got some potions. 
I didn't find anything I wanted. Um, I, I, Ezra? Yeah, I think we were okay. I got some diamonds and uh, some potions. Yeah, I got, I got a potion of growth. Okay. Uh, Jim, I have a qu question about that. Mm hmm So I'm reading up. So if I, if I use Giant's Might and then I take the potion, I'll go from large to huge. Mm hmm so what if if I take the potion? Can someone cast enlarge on me again, like as a spell? No, that is a good question. I think it would depend on the enlarge. Well, I'm I'm gonna try the, it. The verbiage of the thing it says: you cause a creature or an object you can see within range to grow larger or smaller for the duration. Um, choose either a creature or an object, and if they're unwilling and they make a constitution save, then they are not affected. Otherwise, everything it is wearing and carrying changes size with it. Any item dropped by an affected creature returns to normal size at once. That's to make sure that people don't like uh, <laughs> enlarge their partner, have him drop a bunch of gold on the ground, and they all grab these giant gold pieces. Or turn a fifty-foot piece of rope into a hundred feet right. of rope. Yep. Uh, so it doubles in all dimensions. So you go up the next category: medium to large, large to huge, huge to gargantuan. <laughs> Gargantuan. I think that's the next one up. So, it sounds like a plan we want to do in the future. Yes, but I need to. We I need to learn that spell. I would love to try that. Current currently, I don't have the. Uh, I don't have that um, learned. I haven't learned that spell yet. Fair enough. And Aubrey seems totally useless as far as it comes to scrolls. Yeah, I don't. I mean, he's not actually an magic shop; he's just a thrift shop. Like yeah, it is a thrift shop. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to talk to the town elders one last time, and to find those bandits. I'm yeah. good. Okay. So you guys headed south out of town? Yes, sir. All right. And you're going to stop off at the settler's camp. What do you want to accomplish there? Everyone, by the way, can take a long rest. I thought we did that already. I think we did that. Uh, well, we just finished. Yeah. I mean, if you're satisfied with it, we just finished... Uh, Oh yeah, I think oh, we need to do the. Uh, how many okay. diamonds do we have? Uh, I have one. I have. I think I have two. Hang tight. Let me. Where's my inventory? I gave, I gave someone the, the 500 GP diamond, right? Uh, you, I, I think th they're all 500. Diamond. Diamonds for Diamonds. for the sake of these the spell component is all five hundred. Diamonds is a cleric's best friend, or the party of the cleric's best friend, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm ready to uh, go. Uh, is this how many diamonds do you have? I have one. Um, we need to do some rolls here. Um, uh, we probably need to charge up our things. Or I guess they're all charged, right? Because we had a few days. Oh, perfect. That's great. I got my staff with the fence. Oops, my audio. Gone gunny bags. Hold on. 
I mean, I take it if we've had a couple long rests, we you just keep rolling, right? So they're probably all charged, I would think. <clears throat> Found the shortcut for. You sound far away now, Jim. Oh, thank you. One minute while I fix that. Now. Alexa, how do I kill a lich? Oh, am I not muted? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Um... No, you are not. <laughs> I wonder how that handles that. Well, I wonder how ChatGPT would do that. Uh, actually, I was reading up on this earlier today for completely different reasons. Uh, you kill a lich by casting the spell on its phylactery. Hmm. Okay. Are you talking Lich the race or Lich the... Lich is a race? Oh, the race of, of liches. I thought you meant like a, like a race that was run by liches. I was like, that's pretty weird. I've never heard of that, but that's cool. No, the it does. Decathlon. It, it, it does come up as a race. Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider liches a race, considering they're maybe a lineage, but not a race. Well, it comes up. It's definitely in the the wiki and What happened to Jim? I think he's just I messing with his audio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I pulled up No, he, no, he's gone. He's he's like gone, gone. Okay. I'm sure he'll be back. Put a minute. What is that? Oh yeah. This is what my my potential. Okay, so you're currently a medium creature, right? We all are. Yes. Yeah. So drinking, so big, you go large. Yeah. So I would need to go first. So I would need to go. I would need to use giant smite to grow large. I would drink the potion to grow huge, and then you. You would cast in large, like large can... reduce. Yeah, that would be crazy. Like we got to do that. Hey, we're about to fight a dragon. I think we can. That way, that's like what we should do. We might need to go to a real town to a real magic shoppy, though. Unless I get lucky and find something. I mean, because this town is has bupkis, as far as I can tell. I mean, you start studying, and maybe by the time you level up. Your next level up, you can learn that spell. Yeah, I don't know when that's gonna happen, man. I got a lot of ideas for my next level up, but I don't, I don't know when that's gonna go down. I think like, do the clerics have that spell? Uh, what spell? Enlarge with dues. I just did it in in the Avery thing. Uh, I think druids have it. Okay, I think you're right. Oh, here. Now. Yep. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. weird. Thought I had it all figured out, and it just didn't work right. So anyway, that's way it goes. All right, so... <laughs> Sorcerer and wizard, uh, yeah. an artificer, Patrick, not clerics. It's on me. I just got to do it. Okay. Okay. All right, so what did you want to accomplish at the settler's village? We wanted to. See what we we wanted to the, the power. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and um, we don't have any toga tokens out. 
uh, Jim, or I would have, I will cast, um, when we do, I'll cast, um, Mage Armor? Yeah, on myself. Like you always do. Like I always do. Right on. Okay, so at the, um, at the Settler's Camp, um, Griselda Copper Rot is there, and, um, so she will answer some questions that you might have about the tower. She knows a, a bit of lore about the area. She, since, you know, she's rebuilding this town, she, she did a lot of research and some of her family is very familiar with this having come from the Sword Mountains. So what would you like I mean, to do? you want to take this one? Uh, sure. So I was wondering what you could tell us about Innovar's tower. Like, I guess, first of all, who's Innovar? I, the, the name is in the outer, in the outer, sorry, in the outer. It's an Arf. ancient name. He was a wizard a long time ago, uh, probably in the triple digits, uh, Dale reckoning, I believe even, um, early, probably the, you know, 200 DR, uh, area. So it's quite some time ago. It's since it's, you know, 1493 now, right? So, um, it's quite some time ago. And uh, he was a, a, a royal wizard to King Uthgard, who ruled the humans in the area um, just south of where Leylon lies. Um, there were some uh, big... Uh, battlings going on between uh, goblinoids, orcs, and the humans. And at the time, the humans and the dwarves and the elves pretty much got along in uh, in that region. Uh, Uthgart was perhaps uh, exemplary as, uh, in his leadership and uh, inspired them to all work together. This has not always been the case, such as the um, Ilifarn's um, kingdom and so on. Uh, but anyway, um, they came to the wizard to ask him to do something about it. There were people dying all over the place. Big wars were being fought in this area. And um, in the art was quite, uh, quite irritated with the whole thing. He, uh, he hadn't been seen for quite some time, but they went to his castle, his, his little keep, and um, actually roused him. He, uh, they discovered a little too late that he had become a lich. Oh. And that is why they hadn't seen him in so long. And um, so he let loose some great enchantments that caused the ocean to rise up and wipe out um, both armies and thereby created the mirror of dead men. And that's why it's called that. Okay, well, I think we've all learned a valuable lesson here. It was dry Don't land think. before that. <laughs> Wake sleeping witches. <laughs> okay. But of course, the Iniar's Tower had fallen to ruin and tends to stay that way. Has been raised um, on a few occasions, even as early as um, about a hundred years ago. There were some adventurers from Waterdeep that um, refurbished the place and um, teamed up with some Hellmites uh, that um, helped to clean out the uh, beasties in the mirror and uh, kind of watch over the the place. And this was their home base. But even then, um, there was a particular black dragon that uh, I believe his name was Guerver Endor or something like that. And that dragon um, wiped them out. So it was about a hundred some years ago. 
Do you know the name of the dragon? I believe it was Werverendor. Ow. The and has there out. been any has there been any sign of the lich since? Well, the lich has not been seen since um, the creation of the mirror. Mm. So the mirror came all the way up, and you know it has expanded some over time, uh, but causing the high road to have to continually be rebuilt and moved further east. Mm. Um, so hard to say exactly I mean, what causes that to happen, but it could just be, you know, the way things are after the initial drowning of the armies. Mm -hmm. Okay. But on occasion, that tower has been taken over by bandits or, you know, goblins or orcs or whatever, um, but they don't seem to stay long. Okay. For one reason or another, right? Yeah, sounds like it. So I think I'm at. We know. The, I think we have an idea where the general area is. I circle like where uh, we were ambushed, like a big circle around that area. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Do you have like a more accurate location of where the tower should be? Um. It should be like on on this map. Uh, somewhere around here. Okay. Well it gives us a little you know means makes us need to, to wander around looking for you know zombie tracks. A lot less. What would zombie tracks look like? Are they zombies in this world are walking normally? I don't know. Ozzy, I mean, we, just, we ran into a horde of fast zombies the other day. I'm assuming they left tracks behind. Had the rain or anything. Would Sparky put this up? What about what? Sparky what? Would Sparky pick up these tracks? Hmm. It's possible. Well, Griselda, Miss Chopperot, thank you very much for your assistance. Oh. We will be dealing with some bandits and possibly more zombies. Actually, before we go, did you have any word from the prisoner? Um, oh, yeah, his, um, <laughs> his judgment is scheduled. Um, uh, let's see. It's, uh, it's, it's in about 20 minutes. Hmm. Are we going to have to miss that, then? Well, you've got um, a full day's travel down the high road to get to that Inyarv's Tower, so you probably ought to, ought to head that way. That's the plan. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. And for the view. We'll be, have to be more, more wary when we head there, then. All right. Very good. So off we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, so you head down um, the high road, and you don't really have any um, concerning <laughs> encounters. Nothing uh, challenge. At some point, there were some little froggy creatures like uh, the size of dwarves and it looked fierce at first uh, but 
Um, as soon as you got close enough, they, they quickly bugged out of there and uh, hopped off into the mirror. But it looks like they, they had some weapons, you know, some spears, pole arms, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but they but they took off. So um, what the weird? <clears throat> yeah. So uh, Canaeus, who comes from the city, would never have seen one of these creatures. But maybe some of you others have. Uh, why don't you, some of you roll your survival and see if you recognize <laughs> what those creatures were? You've met a lot of new creatures in your adventures here along the Sword Coast, but maybe this is one that you've already you've already seen. Okay. Doesn't look good. No. And I have plus three. <laughs> oh, there it is, Ozus. That's the one. That's the one. Ozus knows them to be bullywugs. Oh, they're like. From what I've heard, that they're kind of like. They're like a medium sized creature, aren't they? A little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But they can be like. Yeah, they're frog they're not like It's not like shooting rats. They're frog people. It's, yes. um, yeah, they're, they're kind of like goblins of the swamp. Be they just left there. like they were just there and they just like did we tussle with them sorry i i missed that part they 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 tried to show a bit of strength but then when you guys drew your weapons ah. they were like whoops <laughs> yeah yeah love and it they, and they took off love it so what? the slightest show of would strength they, on your they, part right? was enough would they, they be for all of those wizard folk What's that? Could they be friends with lizard folk? Uh, no, no, they would probably be enemies of lizard folk. Okay, they would not get along. Okay. Okay, so as you begin to um, approach where Inyarv's tower is, the um, <clears throat> The time is growing late, so let me advance the clock here. Yeah, like this like turned into a dark shadow scene right here. Indeed. So hmm. All my seventies references are really this I'm the only one who gets them. Shadows, dark shadows. Mm. Um Sorry, I was dead. born late. <laughs> There's 1,200 episodes. You can catch up. It takes you four years to get through it. No. Pass. <laughs> you don't binge watch that. I don't what? You can't binge watch that. Okay. So you have appeared. Now I'm going to kind of give you a tour of the map. You might want to zoom out just a little bit. This, since you don't get to see the 3D stuff, I did send a picture into the Discord of what it also looked like, I believe, in the VTT channel. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So that is a view. You are at the bottom left of that picture that I put in there. Okay. You are at the bottom left, which is where, at the, which is the top left, because I rotated the 3D so you could kind of see there's this escarpment that goes up to kind of a little plateau. And on that plateau is where you can see the ruined towers of Inyar's tower. Um, the walls, though in disrepair, are about 30 feet high. There is a gatehouse that faces to the west. It appears to be intact. There are two towers small towers that are also about 30 um, to 35 feet high um, that face north and south. So um, if you're looking at 
the map, you are on the far west side of the map, right? And the road goes to the south, sort of south, southeast. Um, the mirror is to the west or the farthest left. If you can see on the battle map, the muddy swamp water is on the left-hand side of the road. Okay. Um, and to the right is the escarpment that goes up to the little plateau, which then goes into the hills and such that um, continue over to the Crypt Garden Forest. Okay. So what you see here is the two towers are to the north and to the south, and then the farthest to the east, there is a large 80-foot tower that is the back of the, at the back of the keep, if you will, the Inyarf's Tower. And that is also, while standing, it looks like it's um, weather-worn, to be sure. Any questions about that? The road up the escarpment, you can see on the digital picture I took from a different angle, you can kind of see where that escarpment is and then translate that over to your top-down battle map. Well, I marked it kind of with some extra brown, darker dirt. Um, and that kind of goes up. There's a trail that goes up the escarpments that leads up to where the plateau is. Okay. So if it was raining, it would really be muddy where we're standing right now. Right. Really muddy. Oh, but we haven't seen the tower yet. You, you could see the highest ramparts of the tower way up there. Like that big 80 foot tall tower, you can see that. So you, okay. you would have been like, oh yeah, is, oh, so this is Inyarv's tower, huh? Right? That would be the extent of what you're aware of. So it is dark uh, or approaching dark because of the um, the the bad weather that permeates the area, especially in winter. There's dark cloud cover. So you are relegated right now to to have to use um, torches if need be, uh, or dark vision, etc. I mean, I can see perfectly, so. Yeah, you do. How can I, uh, well, I won't. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I know we all have torches, but how do we add the light effect? So if you um, right click on your token, oh, maybe not. Maybe the yeah, I am. I do have a Mac. It's it's not fantastic for this thing. Oh well, Zith, you don't have any torches in your inventory. Oh, I probably should have picked some up. But let's see if we we'll, yeah. we make it back in one piece. If you have torches in your inventory, then on, if you right click on your token, you should see the torch icon at the very top left of all the icons. And if you click it, it'll consume a torch out of inventory and light up around your character. I just hit the light. Do I select myself? Um, yeah, well, yeah, if you're casting it on basically where you're at, yes. This, if you want some light, and I'll put my backpack down and take out a a scimitar on the side of the scabbard. You can use my my old scimitar. Oh yeah, Ziv can use those. Sure, I'll take that. I'll put it on my belt. How do I use it? I just concentrate. It's just <laughs> always glowing. Oh, okay, yeah. it's always glowing. Good. This is the one with the special sheath. That acts as a you know, which you can, you know, disjoin to let light out even when it's still sheathed. Oh, okay. Like, kind of like a hooded lantern. It's got these vents in it. And you can flip a switch in it. Um, there you go. <clears throat> Look at you all glowing and whatnot. Well, I went I... ahead and, and lit up a torch, which would be the same basic effect as a light spell, right? I'm not really sure why it's asking me to do a dex roll. <laughs> I think that's only if you target an unwilling creature, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. All right. So, Oz, you have a... You've, you're lit up. You notice it's in color now around you as well. Yeah. Okay. Your Aeneas not on the table. Let's put her out there. Yeah, I know it, something weird. I, I'm forgetting what darkness looks like. <laughs> I mean, I remember it. Like, it's been a while. Hmm. You really want to we'll, 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 we'll blindfold you too. remember what it's like it's kind of overrated but um <laughs> we'll we'll hook you up when when we're, when we're back in town after we deal with this oh jim i was gonna say so um can somebody read the quest again who who has the quest hit the, hit the j key on your keyboard so. j key band of brigands hey, band. Find themselves... go ahead i got it find themselves the okay Tamera crew has been attacking merchants on the road. Stealing supplies. We need to rebuild Leylon. The merchants claim that the bandits operate out of Eniar's tower in the mirror of dead men. Kill the bandits or drive them from the area. Okay. Then return to the, to the town council and collect a, a reward of a thousand GP. Okay. I like that. I like that. I'm Do a little uh, a little swap here. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, we can see the tower, All right? So I would have. Um, Ollie sort of be ahead of us um, 50 feet and scouting as we're going up. Okay. I'll tell her to, to scream or come back if she sees anything untoward and to let, and to let us know. So who's flying? Ollie? Ollie. She's up north now. She's right here. Just put her down, and then she moved. There she is. Where's she going? Just She's uh, where towards the tower. Yeah, like up, you know, ahead of us on the trail, fifty or so feet. So the trail is further down. You'd want to come all the way down, down here. This is where the trail goes up. Right where I'm thinking. If I alt ping, it'll take you there, right? I I can't see anything. I mean, I can see around us, but I can't see. Because you're not down there yet. Thing. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, yeah. There. Okay. All right. So there's a little bit of fog of war. All right. Uh, so Ollie, uh, I think we should turn. No more than fifty feet now. Token vision has vision. Uh, wow, that's some serious vision, Ollie. Okay, so Ollie can see the keep. Um, yep. And. Ooh, question mark. Like that. That's cool. What's a question mark? There, there a roll uh, you just that you did. privately rolled. Hmm. That's nice. cool. Okay. So, um... Oh, I see. Uh, nice. All right. So, um, Ollie basically does the circuit, comes down, uh, and then you can see her flying up the high road back towards you. And she hoots um, basically that there is a, oops, you know, hold on a second, guys, before you start updating your sheet. Let me double check and make sure it's at the top of the month and 
some of these uh, some of these things need to be like reinitiated at the beginning of the month. So we have it for like Patreon stuff. So let's see. This one never does the automatic Patreon stuff, but then it gives me a key to put in. So let me just make sure that I've done that. Okay. All right. So um, now hopefully that will update d, d Beyond when you update your character sheet. Nope. You removed an item and it freaked out. Good job, Kineas. Yeah, what I'm trying you, to... What did you take off? I was playing with my backpack for a minute and I pressed the wrong button. You deleted your backpack? No, I pressed import and export. Oh. I got it all back. <laughs> gotcha. I was trying to figure out how to give Zip that scimitar, but I can't do it. Uh, give to player should still be active. So Not when a... something's in the backpack. Well, you have to take it out of your backpack first. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Oh. So you just drag it from your backpack to your character sheet. And then, I, you know, and then it should be. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's a little too late to try that. Okay. But there you go. <clears throat> I think. All right. So, yeah, Ali says the keep is up there. Sword. She didn't go very far because you told her not to fly too far. Yep. Uh, I take it look, didn't look. I would telepathically communicate with her. Didn't look like there was anybody there, question mark. She didn't get close enough to really see. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you uh, stay out ahead of us about 50 feet or so, keep an eye out, and and, and uh, lead the way. Okay. All right. She's happy to do that. It, Ziff, you might want to get out my wand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's probably not in my inventory either, because I don't think I ever actually got it. Oh, one minute then. Wand of Secrets. My inventory looks a little thin. Uh, just make sure. Oh yeah, I do have a wand. It's not loaded as a wand of secrets. Um, yeah. That's just oh, that's just my um. That's just my uh, actually, my personal wand. I actually do not see how to give you stuff at the moment. All right. Well, let's just act like I'm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just just I'm using it. Just role play. So, so I would break out the wand, but, but it only has X amount of char charges, right? So I wouldn't use it yet. I'd wait till we get up to the keep. But his wand of secrets. Yeah. I'm okay. Looking, at... I'm looking for your wand of secrets. There's a wand of magic missile. There it is. Um. Yeah. The give to player is like not working or something. Could be that that's broken with the new um, the new D and D module. Oh, and wizards! Give item to another it's player. Been a, it's been at least a little while since we used it, so it should have all its charges back. Yep, that would make sense. So it's out. Two it's ready to go. It's ready to go. It has three charges, right? Yeah, but if you use the third one, the wand's kaput forever. Oh, oh, so God. So realistically, we only use it twice if we want to keep it. Got it. Okay. Same as my, my magic rod. Let's march. I'll bring up the rear, um, as that is my, uh, essentiality. All right. So how do you guys want to roll? You want to keep going south on the road if you want to take the easy way up the escarpment, like the little trail oh, that goes up. Oh, so that's why I kept running into the walls. Then. Yeah. Yeah. That's straight up. Like if you look at the image on Discord where I took it from a different angle, it's really steep. I mean, you could climb it if you wanted to. 
you get to a certain point that says the walls are um correct yep so i like re- you, is you probably not smart for us to go the path they're watching here let me show yeah you i agree players. so you can see that there is that first escarpment that goes up that's pretty high and then so it's 20 to 30 feet up and then the other one's 20 to 30 feet up so it's pretty steep. <clears throat> so what, what's your plan? How do you want to approach? You want to try to climb up? Yeah. So I take Can some climbing gear. Huh? I, I have that. Mm-hmm. As, as, if we use Ollie, can we figure out, like, we, which way is, is the tower facing? Like, the front gate. West. That is the way we do not want to go up. Which direction are we facing? Facing? So, I mean, north is up on this map. On the VTT, okay. north north is up. On this image, and I'm going to pop it out here again and show to players. On this image, you are facing, you are looking to the east. Behind you is west. And north is to the left, south is to the right. So we can go up that path into the field. Yeah, that field is where the where the keep is. Yes. Uh, I just don't have a 3D map of the castle to put there. So um, this is just the terrain that I made in Dungeon Alchemy. But I have not sorted out how to make a good looking castle to spec. So... Yeah, so my suggestion is we, we head around this climb up on the southern portion of the wall. Yeah, we need to get up there. We need to get up there. So where you're at, Canaeus, right here, this is the north side. You know, north goes back oh, yeah. to Leylon, right? Mm-hmm. And the south is way, you know, further down to the bottom of the map. That's south. And about so, halfway there is where, maybe a little further than halfway, is where the trail starts to go up. Yeah, I'm saying uh, I don't mind having to climb more. I just do not want them to spot us. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, in line with you on that one. I think we need to be a little bit more cautious because we don't know what we're walking into. I don't think knocking on the front door is going to be wise for us. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so a pass without that... trees would be handy right about now. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Um, but let's. Uh, I'll I'll trust the guys wherever they want to go. Uh, Sit this live, and still and stealthy, whatever works for them. I trust the warriors and the crew to figure this out. I'm not all that great on stealth. How's your climbing? Yo, I think we'll be fine. So I'm, I'm assuming... assuming. What were you saying, Oz? Nothing. I was gonna ask, uh, how? What is your uh, plus to stealth? Mine. Mine's uh, plus. No. Gotta remember guidance, so let's not forget that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you, me, and Ezra all have disadvantage on stealth. No, I don't have a disadvantage. Um, I might because your armor. armor. Yeah, your armor. Yeah. Yep. I got a plus five to stealth if I have disadvantage. Or I should have. Oh, well, do you want me to go scout? I'm happy to go scout. I me and Ollie can take care of their stuff. One minute. Something weird. I'm looking at my character sheet. And... Two X. Stealth. Shut. Engage. Dash. <clears throat> That's weird. I'm looking at my D&D Beyond character sheet. I don't see my disadvantage. And I'm definitely still wearing my armor. 
Nope, nope. Apparently, it's the not reason to take off my plate armor. That's weird. Yeah, so I definitely <laughs> definitely disadvantage. Yeah, so uh, this you know you should probably head in front of us and use your sneaky skills to yep. scout ahead. Yep. That's fine. Uh, I pick a place um, wherever, like I would ask uh, Canaeus or Ozus, whoever I'm closer to, um, where they think I should climb up. Like, where do you think is safe? Honestly, well, so I, I was, I thought here would be the way up. Well, that's the little path, right? Yeah, but I don't. I don't seem to be getting. Yeah, see, I keep getting uh, the error message in life that says you're you're going up against a wall. Right, and so by nature you can't you can't do that. But uh, if you go further down, like if you want to avoid the walls and just walk up the path, the entrance is down here. Yeah, you, you see where I'm. So, going? yep. If you want to climb so, up, then I'll have to give you a boost. Yep. So I, I would say probably climbing up um, further away from the path, right, is smart. So Zith will go there. Um, he'll send Ollie up top, keep an eye out for people, and I'll take my chances. All right. So you're going to need some... It's very steep here, so you can make a regular climbing roll at disadvantage or make a regular climbing roll with gear. So if you have pitons and you want to yeah. hammer those suckers into the stones in the wall or try to, you know, that sort of thing, if you're going to yeah, pre-climb, um, then that's going to be a little different. I would ask one of the other guys, because I did not um, still have an inventory up. I will you all my I've only been playing for a year now. Yeah. Okay. That, that's great. So I grab his stuff. Uh, I'll give it back to you when I'm done. I'd start gently uh, finding the spots to sort of put them in, trying to be quiet, trying not to make too much noise when I hammer them in. And I'll take a run at this wall. Okay. Climbing is strength. And can I do decks? <laughs> Anybody nope. decks? No, nope. um, it's more okay. athletics than finesse. Okay. Not something I'm great at. Oh, maybe I can get guided by one of our priests. That would be the yeah. Guide me on this on this uh, climb, guys. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm you stealthy, but I'm not you strong. Me to do it. Bam! I think I just got guided. Bam. Okay. Uh, here we go. A little athletics. Did it work? I think so. Thank God. It didn't oh. help. Didn't help. That's terrible. Seven. So I don't get far. Um, so you basically slide. Right. We're all left. Yeah. I got nothing. All right. So I I shamefully undo the pitons. You've wasted I give them back to Kanaeus. And I'm just going to go do the path as stealthy as I can be. Um, I'll ask Ollie to come be a lookout and do it the good old fashioned way. You see, it's down here. Here, you said it's kind of down here, Jim. Yeah, let me ping it for you. Yep, right here where this brown. Cool. You can see the brown dirt start to go up. Yeah, I I don't have vision. Uh, it's it's not color. It's black and white. Um, oh, okay. So the see. darker you can see where it's darker right here. Yeah. This is this goes up. So, so all right, all I'm way. going stealthily, very uh, trying to hug up against the wall to stay out of sight. I wave <laughs> to the guys like, "Hey, I'm here. Look." You have terrain um, that blocks you from the tower if you stay near it all the way up, you know, to yeah. here to this uh, yeah. stone up stone up here. Sort of back up against it, send Ollie up a little bit more. Um, Uh, can I get a real peek at the tower at the tower yet, or am I still sort of 
you are not close enough. Uh, but you can see, I, I, I would say that you can see, I'm going to just going to throw you over here and then back again. Because you will know where it is. Ollie will try to tell you. And then yeah. there's big, big structures past that. Yep. Is there anything I can see to go hide behind once I get toward the top yeah, of this thing? Yeah, so you can come over this way. There's a couple of trees, right? Um, but right here. You can't. Yep. 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 And then further north, there's more trees, and they kind of go up and around. So I have a fast run of this. Okay. Well, I'll take a shot. I will. I will. Um. I'll make a run as quick and fly as I can over here. Okay. All right. I want you to make this. I get that's a tree. It's cool. Yep. Well, that's good. Twenty-seven stealth. You feel pretty confident that, that you were you were pretty sneaky. And let's say Ali's going to be in the tree for a second. She lands there. All right. So can you see anything from here? Not yet. You can barely, you can really just make I out. I can see dark. black and white. It is the dark shroud. Yeah, because that's what infravision, um, night vision, whatever called. Dark vision gets you. Black and white. Yep. Black and white. Yep. So I think boundaries. I do see something, someone. <clears throat> you see something, someone. What? Yeah, right over here. Inside the tower, the tower. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to see it, but uh, all that's I see. A crumbled it. wall. No, that's a that, that no, wall this. there. This person. Um... You see me paying. Yeah. Yeah, you just moved her. Yep. Okay. Got it. But I didn't see that, right? No. Okay. So, uh, I'll have Ollie take a, a fly around to see what she sees. She won't go too far, but she'll, you know, she'll case the joint from from the outside. Hmm. Okay, stay there for a sec. Disintegrate. All right, I gotta get a plug for my computer, but I can hear you. Okay. So, hmm. does it work from here? Click. Yeah, that works. All right. All right. So, Owly um, gets shot. What? Oh, an arrow oh. just pierces right through her, and she disintegrates into dust. Yeah, she does. Oh no! You instantly noticed. You didn't see what was where it was coming from, but you you did hear something through the wind that sounded like an arrow. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. Allie went went to dust. Okay. That is good. Um, I'm gonna just see. Let me just see something. One second. Let's go target practice. Thank you. Sorry that Allie was so. That's not. You left us so quick. Um, okay, so this uh, this is good, good. So I'm going to. Um, how 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 many feet away are the guys? Uh, that they look not. They're very. 120. Not so. Not, according, not 120. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna message to. Canaeus, what happened? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where it came from, but she she she's gone. 
Um, there are definitely uh, uh, um, foes in that tower. In that tower, right now. Um, get see. it up here, so yeah. so we can take them. Um, we're coming, but are they looking? For, are they actively looking for you now? Not at all. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm I'm very well hidden. You clumbering idiots better pay attention, but I think I'm good. Then I guess we try not to make a racket. How do we get up there with him? Just come on up the path. Okay, so you need to come down here. Okay. All the way. And then up the path here. Oh. You you guys are strong. Like you might be able to make it, but I couldn't climb. Yeah. I think we do you guys think we should try climbing instead of going up the path? Um I mean I definitely don't like the idea of being split up. I, I do. Already... Never like so you, <laughs> never like that idea. You can also Love. go part way up the path. Uh like let me show you like up to here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then backtrack along that escarpment to here, and maybe. Oh no, we're having this. Can you see that? That to that dead tree, and then you could climb up that dead tree, uh, or you could stay before going all the way up from here up to the top. You could go along the escarpment further down and climb one section. See? I, I keep doing that. It keeps giving me, it still gives me the whole one wall thing. It didn't. Kanaeus, you're just not going the right direction. Where are you? Where are you even? Oh, because you're trying to go up. You're trying to go up past a wall there. You can't. There's a wall. I mean, that's an escarpment. That's really tall. It doesn't say escarpment. Okay. So reference the picture again. Let me show you. I'm gonna pop it up for you. Oh, I have. Yeah, I've got. I, that's what I was. Okay. So y you've gone halfway up, and you're halfway, and you're below that. Uh, you're trying to go up next to the dead tree and the pine tree, right? So that's where you're at. The pine tree is right where you're at. So you're below it, like thirty feet below the pine tree. I don't know how to tell the map to set different heights. So I, I haven't, I didn't do that, but you're basically 25 feet up from the swamp below. And it's another 25 feet up to the plateau. So you, sir, can continue, yep, back that direction. And if you wanna go up here, you can go up this way, or you can stay on the same level and go further north, backtracking the way you went. Up to you. And Jim, it, it, since we have a moment, we're about to go into battle. Will we have a chance to cast whatever spells or buffing you stuff we wanted? You have all the time in the world. Yeah, <laughs> that's on my bag, but... Maybe even better, better described as all the time there is. So this line, this line where you guys are at, uh, below the dead tree, this line right here is the escarpment up to the next level. Okay. So we, and we are quote unquote climbing, right? The well, tree. you're on this little ledge and you can go up the next section. Do you want to climb up the next section? Did you, did you give me a climbing roll or did you go up the trail and then back over this way? If you, you need a climbing roll, if you're going to try to actually climb. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm more than willing to do that. I just didn't know how to move, except for the way you were t telling us. I'll boost you over when you make a climbing roll. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a little boost. The, the strength for athletics. And I did that with advantage. No. I mean, Which one is it? Is it strength or athletics? <clears throat> it, it is an athletics check, because climbing isn't its own skill. 
So you used athletics right. to climb. And you don't get advantage unless you have climbing gear, pitons, ropes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I do have those. Oh, no, oh, no. Canaeus. <clears throat> yeah, no. The reason I... Yeah, no. This is more because I, I, I'm a rune knight that I get advantage. Gotcha. Okay, Canaeus, you're going to take um, a d6 of damage. That's five points. Oh. Falling, falling back down. And Ezra, you too. This Six. All right. Apparently muddy. Hold on. You're going to take eight, four points. Probably because okay. you landed on top of Canaz. Um, right. <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's slick. It's been bad weather. It's the winter. It's wet. Um, it's cold. So tough. You know, you just didn't get your a good foothold on it, and you ended up um, losing losing your grip and falling again. All right, so um, Ozus and your dog both need to make a stealth roll. Something else is going Sparky on. Got eight. Sparky wow. did not do well. Yeah, glowing dog in the dark. Hmm. Oz has got a 13. And with disadvantage? With disadvantage? Well, yeah, you're wearing um, armor that gives you disadvantage, right? No, I don't have armor. No, that's me. Sorry? You don't wear armor? No. Are you sure? Beck yeah. Martin? I think you've worn armor this whole time. As a matter of fact, you have scale mail. And you are wearing scale mail. That gives you a base oh, armor class oh. of 14. Okay. Scale mail also gives you disadvantage on stealth rolls. It's not quite as bad as chain mail, which makes you sound like a slinky every time you move. Or but. plate armor. Close. Plate armor sounds like. I got a twelve. Clank -ity, clank -ity, clank -ity, clank. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me check something. Gonna do. And Sparky didn't do well either, did Sparky? No, he didn't. Yeah. yeah. So I think the problem with Sparky is I'm going to a dog, and he likes to make noise. <laughs> and he glows in the dark. He's on fire. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm going to give Sparky some torches so that I can just light him up whenever I want. <clears throat> uh, torch. Edit quantity. No, let's just do that. Okay, so now Sparky should be lightable. Oh, yeah. Oop. Okay, well, Oz is part of the, your problem is you have a light spell on you. And so you're lit up. Yeah, that's true. That uh, that helped because you're now a beacon in the darkness, and the, it, may, it just makes it a little bit easier on anyone who's actually looking, who's on guard. But we're and behind so, this behind this tree. Sure, but you know what they say: don't hide your no, light um, under a bushel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they know we're behind the tree, but they don't. Know. All right, so what's going to happen is, I do believe that 
you're going to be, let's see, that's uh, 100 feet. So that'll be medium range. Uh, so we're going to take a shot at you at disadvantage. Uh, actually, just regular, because... Zith, seeing uh, the, be the beacon of light that his, his favorite priest um, immediately casts the mirror image on himself. Getting ready for the barrage. Okay. We're going to do a regular shot at you, and that almost was a 20. That was really, really close. So that's a miss for your 21 armor class. 21? How did you get 21? On my ways. What is that? I will say, Jim, when I did my um, mage armor in this new thing, uh, it added on. it added one extra. So I don't know if the math is a little weird. So I customed it down to what it's supposed to be. Oh, you have a shield. Yes, I do. Okay. He does have a shield. Yep. My staff, I did notice, though, with that uh, <clears throat> it, it said I was carrying the mace and the crossbow at the same time. I'm like, and this scimitar of speed, so. That would be a, a bit much. Yep. Which is why that paper doll would be really good, is to fill those slots so you can see what you really can carry. I think it might might be helpful. Uh, all right. So um, with that, we shall begin combat. Yay, combat. Lay down, sweetie. Roll initiative then. Uh, I'm getting there. Would we have to because we're kind of far? I don't even know. We, we know what's going Let's on. Let's just yet. make sure you get your your count in. That's fine. Wow! Look at all the scouts. All righty. I do believe that we need to roll NPCs. Go ahead. You guys should be able to. Tap in. Can you roll initiative to get in? Wow. Okay. Oh boy. That's a lot of dice. That is a lot of dice. Okay. Right, let me activate you guys for combat. And then you schmoes down here get activated for combat. Flip. I think that worked. Does that get both of you? Maybe not. Where's Amea? Where'd you leave her? Leave her back on the I thought trail. She was right next. Thought she was right. Oh, there she is. I was right on top of her. What a crap roll! Oh, so she's been wrinkled and flat now. Wow. Well, <laughs> I am not in it. I definitely had my worst initiative roll ever. There she is. Oh, she is. There low. you go. All right, and you can just roll initiative as well from your utility tab if you're using the little black buttons or if you're using that sidebar over there. Mm, where's the initiative on that? I wonder. How was Sparky? How were you doing Sparky for initiative? Uh, I just rolled it. Oh, I'll roll it. I saw. Okay, there you yeah. go. Okay. Um, where is initiative? I don't see it. I'm looking to see where it is on that sidebar. I don't see it. Initiative. 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 Nope. So it must be that it um, it expects you to roll from the combat tracker, I guess. Or you can use the black utility button, and there's a roll initiative there, or you can roll initiative from your character sheet. So you got a couple choices for when it's time to roll initiative. Did you guys get them all? Everyone rolled in? Yep. I thought I did, but it's gone now. Everybody down Yeah, that in. happened to me too, but now you're in. No, Kanesh, you're there. You're you're 15. I just re-rolled. Oh, uh, and Ezra, you're 17. Yeah. All right. Well, funny, 
Funny this, uh, the Lightbringer gets to go first. Go, Ozis. With high initiative roll of 22. Go, Ozis. Go, Ozis. Well, I can't see anything. I, I know I've been shot at, but I, I can't see anything, can I? It came from the east, correct. You. It's too dark for you to see where that came from. But you know it flew past you. Oh, um, I'll just firebolt out here somewhere in the direction that and that'll be a disadvantage. You're going to firebolt. You don't have a target. I just can't firebolt out of. Um... You, you you can, but and it certainly is not going to like use up any resources, right? So you, no. you can certainly throw a firebolt at the wall of the keep or something. You you can definitely see the silhouette of the castle over there. So you can do that. You know what? I'm going to ready a fireball. Okay. And it you can my... also use an action to turn off your light spell. Or maybe a bonus action, I think. I think probably a bonus action to turn it off. Yeah, where would that be? There isn't. You can just turn it off. I'm not yeah. sure there's a... Like, there isn't an active effect for it, so... Oh, I see what you're saying. There isn't a reason. You can just say, I don't want to be, you know, lit up like a... I don't know. Christmas tree. An easy target. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. But where do I do that on my sheet? You know, you just say... I'm doing it, and that takes up your bonus action, and we move on. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Turn me off. Okay. And I'll... All right, you don't have light on anymore. Your dog, however. No, not the little doggy. Hmm? All right. Um, so you're That'll... done? Yeah. All right. There's no end turn. There is. It should be at the bottom or to the right. Uh, are you using the combat carousel? There's an end turn there. That's what you think, but it's not. What you do think. Yeah, I don't have any end turns. In fact, now I'm no longer on the. Um... Oh, the combat carousel is too big. Oh, actually, you're in the middle of it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> blah, 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 blah. All right. That was horrible. It's an early combat sneeze. All right. Um, then, Ezra, you're up. Uh, I'd love to just get closer. I know I... Do you want to try climbing again, or do you want to move along the escarpment back over behind the other? Um, I'll try climbing again. Let's All right, do... let's see it. Athletics! Athletics. Let's roll. Yeah. Hey, there we go. All right. So you climb up here, and that will end your movement from the climbing and the standing up from being prone, etc. So you're there, but you're I can't. I can't dash or anything. Nope. Okay. That was a that was um, your whole action. That was it, guys. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I honestly. So. I... Would it be faster, Jim, for me to go the, the path and the climb, or? Well, if you climb, it's going to put you up there right away. If you yeah. go to the path, it's going to be a, a distance to get up. So yeah, it's that. like 
90 feet just to the top. And yeah, then naked, I am going to climb. Yeah, climbing is probably a little faster. Or you're not. So you're going to fall again and land roughly at the bottom for six points more of damage. Sorry, I had Ezra select when I rolled that die, so it looked like Ezra just damaged you. He didn't. It was me. Wow, this is just not Six good. more points. It's humiliating, too. I mean, you're the, you're the athletic one. Can you just jump at the top? Come on, man. <laughs> just jump. Just jump, man. If that fails, do I at least have enough movement to get back up from prone? Yeah, I imagine I just immediately no. it off. Yeah, no, you're you're prone down on the ground. Yep. All right, let me find out I why. Look to Adea, who I'm sure is just giving me the, the stink eye. <laughs> ah, she kind of sounds like she's laughing. Yeah, that's <laughs> except occasion. Shut up. Maybe it's in the character sheets. Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting these errors when you guys try to make changes. And it could be that it is in the D&D &D Beyond, which is where there isn't even a D&D &D Beyond button anymore. Uh, I just re-imported. Um, I have a D&D &D button on my character sheet. But you have the old character sheet? I have the no, I have the new, the Where's new the one. It's a uh, button. Where was it? I just, I literally just did, just did it. Um, uh, what? Hold on, I just got screwed up. Um, oh, when when you press the ed, the edit thing, it it reveals itself. Oh, there it is. Oh, very good. Yeah. That is exactly right. So I'm checking to see if update D and D Beyond is checked. It is. So I don't understand. Oh, maybe it needed to be activated again. All right, Ezra, you should be good. Let me go through the rest of it and do it for you. All right, so who's up next? Where are we on the count? Let's see, we are... Oh, my guy. So hold on a second while we do that. Nope. It is still failing to update not an authorized user. Please enter a valid Patreon key in the module settings. I did. Permission. I Permission. Did. All right. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, we'll go there. And next. Oh, here. Um, Okay. Um, all right. It's Anaya. Anaya's turn. She's just going to fly over the escarpment. Yes, because she can. So where is she? And I'll fly her over there. Do, 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 do. She can sit up. She's right next She'll to go you. land at the top of this uh, this tree up there, this big, big old winter dead tree. Okay, we're just moving some other people around. Ah, oh, this guy. I'm gonna take a pot shot. Why not? We'll do it with disadvantage. Target. Hoping you're just in the same place you were before. This attack roll. Is 
the 19. Another arrow goes flying into the tree and brrr, message for you, sir. Um, an arrow hits the tree you guys are kind of hiding behind or crouched down kind of behind. Um, so there's still somebody taking shots at you. Ziff, you're up. What are you going to do? Oh, it's that. Oh, I thought there was a lot of people ahead of me. Yeah, because okay. you have to get them right over the scouts. Um, we still. I wasn't. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for that. Um, um, from where I'm standing, uh, do I see another bit of cover closer to the to the building? Um, no, it seems to no. be very unfortunately clear of cover. Possibly on purpose. Yeah. Well, I hate There's to waste some cover to the north of the building. You can see some trees yeah. over that direction, but yep. Yeah, here, right? Yeah. But you gotta, yeah. gotta get over there for that. I do not want to waste this. So from so I've been crouching down behind the other tree. I probably don't have a great view. Um from my vision I can't see anything. Um I hate to waste an action. So I'm just gonna ready a firebolt if I see um anybody before my next turn uh that is one of us. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop them. Um and I'm already hidden, right? Or do you want me to actually try and hide behind this tree? Uh if you should like they haven't seen me yet. Correct. As far as I know, but you, if you hide, they won't be able to see you. Yeah. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna give that a, a whirl. Sure that you are, you are right up snug against that tree trunk, that sort of thing. Then that will my bonus action even better. Stay there. Um, I'll do my stealth check. Um, oh, nice. Twenty-seven. Only a twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah. I'm Fine. pretty good at that. I don't got much else, but I'm pretty good at that. Uh, Ollie's gone, unfortunately, and ready that firebolt, and that's it. Okay. All right. So, Ezra, you're not lit up in any way, but Kanaeus. Do you have your sword no. out or anything? Not the, not the glowing one or the non-glowing one at the moment. I'm currently on the ground. Oh Prior. you're. Oh yeah, so let me move you back. I was climbing, I remember? You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I um, you were above the ledge a little bit there, so I forgot. Looking at data as it is, looks presently. So okay, so because I'm trying to see if maybe. Uh, this guy maybe can see. Let's look. Perception. Advantage. Okay, so Ezra, um, you're not really trying to hide. Haven't heard you say anything about that in particular. So. Correct. So I'm going to say that this person can see you. And so they are going to take a shot at you. An arrow comes flying from the castle. And it's a 22. So I think that's going to hit. That does hit. All right. You're going to take five points of damage as an arrow goes, ping, kind of wings you a little bit. Ching off your armor. What kind of armor do you have? I have chainmail, I believe. Yeah, so you do sound like a slinky. Right. Sorry, how much damage was it? Uh, just five. Five points. It's okay. kind of like falling off a cliff. It's not that big a deal. You're used to it. Um... Up. Sparky, um, Sparky is Sp 
Sparky just looks at you, Ozis. Like, what do you want to do? Just sit. Just sit tight. All right. So he goes down into kind of a ready stay position, right? Mm hmm. So he's ready to pounce, but he's down against the ground. He's prone, basically. All right. Good and that's good and okay and that ends our round. We're back now at the top at round two. Ozis, you're up. Hey, Jim, I don't think I have access to Tanaeus or Nea's uh, token at the moment. Really? That's odd. Um, like, Canaeus's token? You've moved it before. What do you mean you don't have access to yeah. it? I'm tapping on it, and it's not popping on my character sheet. Hmm. Same for Nea. Um, Nea. Well, that certainly pops up a character sheet should have access. Let me just double check. Here, Configure I'll, let me, owners. I'm going to refresh how you do that. Patemeister. Yep, you might have to refresh. Because it looks like you have, you, you have the access you need. Uh, Configure ownership. So we're basically storming a, 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 yeah, a, ruined, a, a ruined a ruined castle, yeah. I mean, it's got a big hole in the wall, so the really hard part of Helm's Deep, so to speak, has been taken care of for you. But uh, Where's the hole? Can I see the hole in the wall? No, not very well, but it's in the north wall. So near where Ezra is. No, well, that's not north. Your compass is upside down. So it's this way. Do you see, Ozis, where I'm aiming? See the line on the map? Are you seeing a line I'm drawing from near you? Yes. I am. Yeah. Okay. So it's that direction right there. But it's about 100 feet away, and you can't make it out very well. Yeah. It's all dark I'm, over there. I'm just trying to think if there's anything in my arsenal here that I can use. E spell might not be a bad idea. Mm hmm? An AOE spell might not be a bad idea. But you gotta get through the walls, though. Mm. Everything I have is get away, so I'm wondering. And this is a tree right here, right? Some big bushes. Those. Uh, what you're actually hiding behind here is these are actually big bushes. Both of these. So they're a disadvantage. Uh, it gives you some good cover. Okay, I can I'm back up. Okay, so I'm, okay. Wow, my end of the turn is way down there now. Okay, I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna hold. Uh, all right, Ezra, you're up. Shoot. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Um, all right, let's move forward. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. 
please. Five. Yeah, I still, I still really can't see anything. So, uh, and how far can you move with the dash? Another amount of movement. So, if you're moving straight north, you're not getting any closer to the keep, so you're not really going to see anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to dash off to the side. Then one. Okay. Wait. There we go. Alright. Uh, I guess that will end my turn. Okay. Uh, let me try again. <clears throat> By the way, your character sheet says you have 25 feet of movement. Oh. Just FYI. Okay. Alright, Kanaeus, are you going to spend another turn trying to climb, or are you going to begin the long run? I'm going to give it one more shot to run Come up on. before I got to start running up that hill. Oh, thank God. The 19 do it. A 19 does it. Nice, huh? Get up here, Kanaeus. All right, let me give you a Stop fucking shot. around. All right, <laughs> so there was, your, there was your action and movement. So, um, if you have a bonus action or whatever, um, you're standing, you've gotten up from being prone. That's where all the rest of your movement went. So, what do you why want? did it? Why does can I have zero, zero hit points? I should have a hundred. There we go. Oh, you have a hundred now. Yeah, no, oh, because you pushed the kill me, kill myself. Yeah, I do. it was yeah, fun yeah. when you were, you were completely red, and now you're fine. I'm looking around. Question, uh, Jim, what do I, uh, how are, do I see how they're seeing us? Like, do there crenellations or something in the yes, walls? Yes, the walls do have crenellations on top. Yep. Okay. More than a pair of pets. Then, <coughs> would it be an object interaction to take something out of my bag? Yes, it would. Okay, then I'm going to take out my telescope and tell, tell Anaya, take this to Ozus. Oh, oh, are you talking about like a free action to do that? Um, N not yeah, not to get into your pack. I just thought you were like, I'm interacting with an object. No, now I realize you were talking about like the move, like to oh, open a door, that sort of thing. No, taking your pack off your back to get into it is an action. Did Anaya do that? You know, well, did she like get in my pack and, and take, take it out? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, so she'll do that when it's, it's her turn. Until then, I have other things I need to be doing, and I am most certainly not going to try hi hiding. Okay. All right. Ability. Giant's Knight. And that'll end my turn. All right. Make up yourself big. I do. Uh, okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, Anea swoops down and tries to grab something out of your pack. Um, let's let's do some kind of a paper dex roll. Try that. 
Oh, she's pretty good at those, actually. Mm. She's getting bound up. You've tied it too tight. She's not able to get into it. With a, she will with six. Yeah. All right. So she's kind of just cursing at you. I'm Maybe. sorry. You don't, to, don't use that language to me, why am, lady. Why am I supposed to? Hey, it's a printable word. Just because you're not old enough to hear it. All right. Um, <laughs> just the highest, job. I think. Go. Is that how that works? Job. Hmm. All right. Uh, another arrow goes flying past you. Zith, you're up. This is getting... Dale. So, okay. So, <clears throat> Zith is going to try and just get a different view. Um, he's going to ask the guys to cover him. I know in this game that doesn't mean anything, but it sounds cool. Um, <laughs> cover you what? Just to, j j just to you clear some math. Cl well, to clear some math, Jim. No, oh, before, sorry, what? Before you go, let me beef you up a little bit. Ozis gets out his blanket and covers you. Oh uh, no! You... <laughs> no, because isn't actually isn't guidance concentration? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, but I appreciate you and thank you for the warm hug, um, Jim. Just a math check with my roguish sneak sneakiness, stealthness, I can move ninety feet if I dash. Dash is a bonus action. That's and like cutting action, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna be like, okay, guys, cover I'm gonna try and get a look at this thing. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a run for it. Obviously, I'm no longer hidden. I'm gonna take special notice right around here, sorry, right around here of what is what do I see here? What is this door like? I'd say, I see this knockdown wall, crumbled section of a wall, yep. So and the door is, is the gatehouse. The door is the gatehouse. Little, there's a little drawbridge down over the moat, and then there's like a gatehouse. So this is where is it? I don't see anything. Like, I just see the walls and a bunch of black. I don't know where yep, the moat cause is because you can't see past the black. So that's the walls. That's the walls, and and this this opening is pat is passable. It's yeah, you can run right through that. That's got some okay. stone rubble sort of kind of. But it's been mostly cleared away. It's not like big huge chunks of it's just like dirt and leaves and and small rocks. And I'm not seeing anybody that is attackable as I'm running. Correct. You can see maybe this person right here. I I, I can when I was there. Let me go back. I couldn't see the, oh, I could barely see. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's the person who's shooting at you right now. And are they like, are they attackable from where they are? Or is, or is there a, uh, just a little slit? You With call their, them a word up to they're, right they're shooting at you from cover. They're behind cover, these yeah. stone crenellations. Yeah. And okay. so here it comes. So that's 90. Okay. Oh, you need to take a shot? I am. So that's an 18. Well, um, I had mirror image on me. Um, okay. As well as my... Um, mage armor. Um, so I think I have to roll. Let me see how it works again. Sorry, I roll a, a d20, um, and I must roll a six or higher to change the attack thing. Yeah, I'm gonna roll my d20. That's six or higher, so I'm down to two duplicates of me. I think. Okay. Uh, yep. And suddenly there's fewer of you. Running One of them is the just gone. <laughs> yep. Um, that is, uh, I wouldn't be yelling at what I saw. Um, I know they've seen me now, uh, and I can't hide or anything. So that'll be my turn for now.
Okay, Sparky. Sparky's to... <sighs> kind of chuffing a little bit. It's like, let's go, old man. All right, this... Um... Oh, okay. So this one's going to take a shot at you now. Do, 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 do. All right, Ziff incoming. I am, by the way, just to be clear, I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully yeah, I have yeah, some cover from this behind, tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it hits the it hits the tree. I'm not hiding, but yeah. Another arrow shot. I look at, at I look at my other two of myself and just nod and smile. Yep. Oh, people, people, people are multiplying. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Yep. All right. Ozis, we're back to you again. Round three, sir. It's in tough. The same spot you've been in for three rounds. You're starting to grow moss on your toes. So Zip is over here. He I'm over here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he went even right further. He just ran off into the dark. He goes, I'm going to go check something. And then he just disappeared. Ran off. All three of them. Or four of them. However many. Well, I'm going to go to the next. I'm going to head in the next set of bushes. Okay, to the north of you there? That right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you go jump in those bushes. Sounds good. You're done. And I'll, and I'll end my turn there. Okay. All right. Not in front. Oh. I'm behind the bushes, not in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, boom. So you you can run further than me, but then I I'm behind you now, so you're by yourself. Can I ask, did you get big? No, I'm incapable of that at the moment. I thought you did giant spine. Did I, I'm incapable of getting of making my token larger? Oh, that's what I was asking. Oh. Now you're big. Thank you. Now it should be an easier target. Yes, exactly my point, which is why I was asking. I'm like, hmm. All right, so Kanaeus, I'm going to go ahead and target you, and we're going to take a shot. Uh, longbow. Okay, that's a 21. That hits. Excellent. All right, so then that's going to do six points of damage. You also get winged just like the cleric. All right. All righty. Um, okay. Ezra, it's your turn. All right, we are going to... You can see the moat. You can see the wall. You can see the gatehouse. It has right. a portcullis in front of those doors. The yeah. portcullis is down. Okay. Five. Um, can't see anyone yet. So I guess I'm going to dash. Yeah. Okay. So there is a 
stop there. There is a portcullis, yep. right? Do you know what that is, a portcullis? Uh, I do big, not. That's, that's that a big metal gate that comes in like this. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Right. Okay. And then there's doors behind the portcullis. And one of the doors has a little door in it. And it's open up like, you know, what's the password almost, right? Mm -hmm. And as you go in there and um, as you as you look that and you notice that little door, you notice the arrow sticking out of it as um, it fires off in your direction. Whoops. Uh, try to click to choose the character. With the arrow out. in the portcullis. Yeah, so the shooting door. out between the holes in the portcullis, the there's, little, a, the there's hole. a murder hole in the door. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's I a see murder that. hole. That's what it's called. All right, but it doesn't have a very good angle because maybe just you're a dwarf. I'm so short. Yeah, you're a dwarf. And so the arrow goes flying past you. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else that you want to do now that you've moved that far? Um... I guess maybe ready in action if if anyone tries to come out I will hit them with my mace my warhammer okay and on that I will end my turn so you shake out the warhammer and you're ready to go all right perfect Canaeus what are you gonna do okay so I'm assu first of all I'm assuming Anaya is currently attached to my backpack correct yeah trying to get it untied Okay, I'll tell her to hang on. I am going to dash. So she and I will be moving trying. That's 25 feet. 30. Sixty feet. Okay. And so you can easily make out the portcullis and the large doors behind it. Mm -hmm. And let's see, I think here it is. And I'm going to let's see. So first of all, I'm going to do a hill, the hill rune. Ooh. That way, I can. T I'll take less damage. Okay. That covers and piercing weapons, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's the same as Barbarian's Rage. Okay. And I, that's good because you got hit by an arrow, so uh, uh -huh. that's gonna do oh three points of damage. So you'll take half of that, one point. Thunk. Akeem. And so Anaya should be right with me, right? Uh, yeah. I'll just put her right there. Okay. Yes? Can I ask? Mm -hmm. What? Are you doing anything else? Oh, no. I thought we were already past my turn. Oh, no. You're still on your oh, turn. we're waiting for you. I was, like, waiting for oh, you. I'm no. like, uh, what else are you going to um, do? Okay. Oh, nothing. Yeah, I saw <laughs> you already moved on to the scout when you attacked me, so. Uh, I did that, no, because they were holding their action to shoot you. 
So oh, okay. you you, you came into range, so I was just like, okay. Because yeah. then you said hill rune, and I thought you were going to do something else after that. But okay. Uh, no, All right. So what, how much did they attack me for? Uh, you took one point of damage. So after having. It was three. Three points. Take one. Okay. But it did hit you. All right. Um, okay. All right. So... Um, the uh, murder hold door slam shut, and you hear a big bar. Um, the all right. So then. Um, and is going to take another shot at getting your pack open. Ananea. What? I, no. That's You're pack cheering, you're cheering her on? Anaya. I see. So I think maybe a sleight of hand <clears throat> is in order. Let's see if that works. Oh, good. All right. So she opens your pack. And she goes, you still want me to... Yeah, telescope, Ozzy. Take the telescope. All right. All right, so she will fly she off part ways. She should be able to make it. She is uh, 60 feet of, of, of flight, right? Okay. 25, 30, 40, 50. That's yeah, 30. so she should be able to get, she should be able to get to Oz, I think, if you do it right. Okay, that's where she gets. Um, all righty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's coming up. Oh, it? um, yeah. How many stories is this tower, 30, Jim? 30, 30 foot walls. The small tower to the north that's nearest to you, um, which is the north corner, right? Um, that is uh, about 35 feet tall, so a little bit taller than the walls. Are you are you talking about this here or? Yeah, right here, this this corner. Yep. Yeah, this corner. Okay. Yeah, that's yep. a tower, and it is it's a square tower, and it is uh, about 35 feet high. 35 and feet. Uh, most of the arrows that we've been seeing coming at us, do they seem to be coming from the ground floor or floors <laughs> above? From the top of the wall, except the, the top one of them. seemed to come straight across to you. That last one that hit the tree, which that you're yeah, behind, uh, it seemed to come straight across. But but from uh, we but we can't see anybody on the top of the wall. Well, you saw one as as they took a shot at you. They had cover and they were they were aiming from around the corner of one of those crenellations. Okay. Um, Zip is going to take a shot because this is not going anywhere. We are not. We are not. Um, oh, you know what? Zip won't do that. Zip will do this. Zip will sneak around here, around this tree line here. Mm -hmm. This is, looks like thirty. Which is that's thirty feet there for a different look, um, maybe at the. What else do I see? I just see more, uh, you call them crenellations, like uh, yeah, little walls or something, or something. Yeah. Yeah, where Wonder it kind of goes up and over and down and up and over and down, right? Just like is when, there you, any, when you think of the top of a castle. Is there any other openings on this side that I can see from where I... Nah, just the big gaping hole. The tower has some arrow slits in it. Yeah, Mer Merlin holes, right? Merlins. But but still, the only thing I can, the only entrance I can see is the is the thing. Correct. Okay. Well, Zip's gonna take a shot. Screw it. Let's light this candle here. Um, 
I want to head here, right back up against the wall. Um, what happened to the combat encounter? Right here. Oh. Just disappeared. This should be 30 feet. It's gone. <laughs> what? Oh, no, it's not. I, I know what I did. I switched scenes for a second to check the notes. So I can see one person. Can I take a shot at them? Uh, yes, they will have half cover because they're up against the wall. I just can't make them look that way for you. Yep, yep. They're I will take a shot. Of, All right. They're, they're actually kind of hiding right there. Yep. I will, I will take a shot at her. Okay. Um, I'll use, I'll use my, did I do it right? Oh yeah. So I just imported, I, I create, just so you know, um, Jim, I create a, a plus one longbow to use as That's fine. the yep. thing, because okay. it was too difficult to do it the other way. Okay. So I'm going to take a shot at her or him. Uh, bam. Normal. Normal. I normal, but, ugh. I don't know if that'll hit. Nope. Not at all. Um, all right. Well, that is it. I got nothing left. I'm back up against the wall. Hopefully the angle is tough for them to shoot. Um, maybe somebody that's... Wait seen. a minute. You said back against the wall. Maybe we have some information I'm not the same. You're at the yeah, end like, of I'm... This isn't a wall. Sorry. This is where the map ends. So I basically oh. took a map and I plastered it onto this map. So you're actually at the edge of a moat. Oh, there's no so there's wall. no like, there's yes. no wall. Oh, there's no wall right. to hide behind. Okay. You All can right. see it. The walls, so, you can see where the walls are. They are on the other side of the moat. So got it. I see. That makes more more sense. Sorry, so I'm totally out in the open. <laughs> okay, that, well, that, it, that's okay. It, Me and my two friends. Like, oh, this will be you, fun. You can have like come out take in your shot, right? You're within range. And then move back into cover if you like. Oh, uh, that would be helpful. Yeah, I thought I was up against a wall, but that would be great. Right. And so, yeah, in light of that, your character would not have just gone like, ta-da, I'm out in the open. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was doing the back up against the wall thing. Cool. Yeah, no how, how long is uh, this mode is true to true to map, yeah. right? So it's, yeah, it's, about five it's feet. jumpable. It, it totally. Yeah. Yep. Got Easy. it. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're hiding back in the behind the trees. Yep. Okay. Like that. He's probably going to take another run. Where's Kanan? I'm near the the door. Although I think uh, you're you're close to here, right? Yes. I'm right over here. Oh, okay. Cool. Because I have a plan and just, there. Because I and just so you know, Anaya's here and she has the telescope. Which should let you hopefully see into the crenellations. Okay, I got it. I got a plan. I have to look up this word. I've never heard of this word. What Porto Porticus? Crenellation. Oh man, my daughter and I were talking about this. Actually, D and D has given me a vastly broader vocabulary. Vocabulary, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Not just medieval stuff. Certainly medieval stuff, but other things that aren't medieval, like carapace, and you know, the list goes on. So, um, yeah, well, just the, the <laughs> yeah, just uh, just a lot of a lot of things about games can end up like some sci-fi uh, gaming has given me other terms that I've never heard of before. So. Um, and now I know what they are. And, and my wife looked at me the other day and she goes, how do you even know what that word is? <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's like, I don't know what that word is. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's this. She goes, not, oh, yeah. No one knows what that, <laughs> that's not normal. And I go, well, it's D&D. &D, that's why. You married a nerd. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to, let me open up my map here and see. All right, so... Um, guys going in here okay so these guys um uh are disappearing are doing what sorry they're 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 going they're disappearing uh, the scouts are disappearing yep 
That's not Here's, good. They're vanishing. Like they're running away or they're literally vanishing. Well, you don't see, you have a hard time seeing them anyway, but yeah. now they're, you can't see them no matter what. You can't see them. Got it. They, they're just disappearing. They're like, they're, I don't know, you might think they're retreating. But I think more retreating than turning into ghosts. That would be more terrifying. Yeah. Ooh, I like that idea. That's what they're doing. We have, we have a proper expectation <laughs> of horror in this game. All right. Roll. You hear a, um, a, a low growl from behind you. And a... And I tell them this, and I, I hold them down. Okay. All right. They're retreating. Mm -hmm. Now it's my turn. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Wait. Two. Just four. Remember, Anaya's, Anaya has something for you right behind you. Six. Uh, it's too late. I'm going to move up to where Ezra is. Um, so just to rehearse again, that line that you see on the corner right here, this is not a wall. It's just the map. I just took a, right. the no, DVD, no. I took yeah. the module map and slapped it on my custom terrain. Yeah. Is the crenellation the hole that the the stone makes, or the actual like the whole thing, the, the I mean, high parts and the low parts? It, yes, high parts and low parts. It, the, the fact the that whole it has thing. these stone sections that stick up, right? Yeah. So what's a merlin? A merlin, a merlin is a merlin. A, also called an arrow slit. They're called Got merlins. It. Merlins. Are they also mm -hmm. called murder holes? Uh, well, they... murder holes are holes in the wall that you can shoot arrows through, but they usually go into like a death trap area. So probably, probably what we're about to walk into then. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on where you're walking. Perhaps. I ended my turn. Ezra, you're up. Um, so the that little, I heard. Uh, this is a tough that, one. That row of dots in front of you, that's the portcullis. Mm -hmm. Like that you... represents the holes in the ground that the spikes of the gate go into, right, to lock it into place. And then there's those big doors behind. Okay. Uh, um,. So you said the doors in front of me, I heard like a bar being lifted onto it, so it's locked. Yeah, like it's been barred. The assumption. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, would I have enough strength to slam through with my weapon? Um, no, the portcullis itself is pretty secure. Um, okay. The doors look big and thick, oak, iron-bound oak. Um, so this looks like, a t and that looks like they've been, you know, repaired. 
So normally I would say these look like crap, but the the portcullis is rusty, uh, but it's very functional still. As a matter of fact, it may not go up. I don't entirely possible that you may not be able to lift it because it's just rusted in place. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do here. If you're as strong as Canaeus, you could probably try to lift it, but you only have a 14 strength, so. Yeah. Uh, and I don't see anyone. I don't see any Tough situation, one. man. We haven't yeah. dealt with yet. I mean, you know, if I... If you want to, move, you can move out of the way and and hold your action until I I come and lift it. Yeah, um, I will back away ever so slightly to give uh, Kanaeus room to okay run in, and I will um uh. So the whole get my gatehouse, claw. by the way, goes up above here as well. So it's like solid. Not quite like a tower, but definitely mm -hmm. a gatehouse. And it does have um, arrow slits or merlins in the front of the gatehouse. Okay. Um, and I will, I guess, hold an action to... Um... Could you do a cantrip as like a held action too? Yes. Okay, so I will cast Toll of the Dead on anyone who tries to attack me. All right. That and seems that be, just fine. All right. Um, that will be my turn. I wanted to... Forgot my own. There it is. All right. I was going to grab an actual drawing of Inyar's tower for you. Let's see if I can find it. No. You know how when web pages load and they keep jumping around while ads are still loading in and stuff like that? I just got nailed by that. I hate that. All right, here is an actual drawing of Inyarv's tower. Mm. Let's see how big I can make this. Oh, it's it's slow. Sorry about that. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that's painful. Okay, here. <laughs> okay, finally got it. All right, I'm gonna paste it into the BTT chat as an image. Should come in in a minute. So, um, just so you get an idea of what this keep looks like from the outside will help. Yeah, there, sure. yeah. Okay. That is a fortress. <clears throat> and you can see that the north wall over there, um, northwest wall, is caved in a little bit here and there's rubble and stuff. Um, yep. So... It's been cleaned up since then, but uh, ventilations up on the top of the towers and the walls here. So, anyway, that's a little bit a big, better idea, perhaps, of what. Very helpful. Um, what you've got, just from this, just the front. All right. Um, very good then. In this case, now understand that that it looks bigger in that drawing than it really is. The front of that gatehouse is 15, 5, 10, 15 feet wide. It's not that big, right? That The tower behind is. That's 80 feet up. And those side towers go about 10 feet above the rest of the walls. The walls are 30 feet high. <clears throat> and there's like a moat, right? So that's why the walls look taller, even taller than they are, because there's a moat. But, um, yeah, you should be able to handle all that, I think, right in there. Okay. 
So um, it's just not a giant castle. It's it's a keep. Small, mm -hmm. cozy. All right. And Jim, yes. when I took that shot on that person, would I have seen, like, are they humanoid? Are they, they run-of-the-mill? Yeah. Just like humanoid. Scout. Yeah. yeah. Not, uh, not monstrous. Got <clears throat> Probably, um, um, you know, a bandit. Yep. Bandit. All right. So, um, Canaeus, after your move, is, uh, you haven't ended your turn yet, right? Uh, no, I just, all I did has move. I've only moved so far. So, Jim, okay. my first question is there a keyhole? There are no keyholes. This is not a like a dungeon okay. door. This is a 10 foot wide door, you know, 8 to 10 feet wide. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. Set so, I'm double try doors. But there's a, there's a portcullis in front of it. Yeah, so I'm going to try to force the portcullis open, I guess. You know, lift it? I mean, you said it should be possible with my level of strength. It's not... You know, yeah, yeah. it's heavy, so you're strong, right? You've got some gauntlets and... I get... No, I just naturally have 19 strength. Okay, well then you um, have a 19 strength, so there you go. You've got ogre-like strength. Strength. <laughs> And I'm currently a giant, so. Okay. I have 19 myself. Yes, you have gauntlets, though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. <clears throat> so you may go ahead and make an athletics check. You have advantage on that because of your. Um, mightly fashion. And. Um, Let's see if you see how well you do. It's going to be pretty high DC. 16. Okay. You 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 make it move a little bit, but <gasps> it's it's really well jammed. Okay, and let's see. I don't think there's much else I can do. No. I think that's going to be it for the moment. Oh, okay. Well, unless there's something you think I should do. Mm, no, I mean, if, could we try to like lift it together? You can provide a help action that would give him advantage, but there's so, no such thing as double advantage, so it probably you, isn't. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, unless you're an elf. Possibly, Probably or not you super. wait for the. You could wait for me to use the thermaturgy and just unlock it, so you can lift it up. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I can. It's, is it considered a door I can unlock? That would be a locked door. This is a portcullis. Not quite the same. This is like a I mean, big iron gate. Like, okay. it's designed to keep people out. Like, designed to keep siege weapons out, battering rams, that sort of thing. Does Jim Oz have the same level of strength I do? I mean, could, could he all help me lift it up? Just, like, make his own check? No, what I'm going to do is double your uh, your strength. You can do that? Yeah, I think I can. I just want to double check. So, Jim, it says my turn's already over, just to let you know. All right, cool. Thank you. I'm looking elsewhere while I'm trying to plot your demise. Uh, cool. It didn't move you, so I, I have now switched over to what's going on here. All right. Um, oh, that's interesting. No, you're shoot. Ah. What are you ah in about? Oh, it's your strength is only for carrying something, not pushing something. I mean, well, makes some sense. I would, I would consider. All right, Anea is going to fly up next to Ozis. 
that Sparky's going to kind of run over by you. Do you notice the bush behind you is like blowing in the wind? Yeah. I saw that. It was cool. Nice touch. Thanks. And I will hand you the telescope. Uh, Yeah, she'll drop it next to you. So you can choose to pick it up. Uh, Because you're in the middle of stuff. All right. Uh, Ziff, it is your turn again, sir. What would you like to do? So the, the person I took a shot at is no longer in view. Yep. They, they uh, yeah, they have vanished in the darkness. All right. Cast magic. What can I see from here? I see nothing, right? Uh, nope. I, I don't think. I'm going to make a run at it and try and jump this moat. Um, I have a ring of jumping. I could do the math, but I think it's pretty easy to yep. get over. No problem. Um, all right, let me go right here. Yep. All right, will you do me a favor, please, and make yourself a DC 15 deck saving throw? Yes. DC 15 deck 30 saving throw. Normal. Oh, that's not good. All right, so you slip in the mud. The whole area there is really muddy. And you slip into the mud and slide right um, into a pit. A pit? Yeah, it was uh, loosely covered uh, with kind of a, a stick frame with some canvas and leaves and stuff stuck to it with dirt spread across the top uh, to make it look gross and, you know, kind of normal. I fell for it. You noticed it it just as you jumped in front of it, but then you slid right into it. Mm. So, yeah, it was snoop, bonk. It's like slam dunk. Um, So what this means is that you are going to take two dice of damage. Unless you can't avoid that in some way, you're going to hit the ground. Uh, I cannot. I don't have feather fall or anything like that. Okay, so that is nine points of damage, and you hit the bottom of the pit. How do you do damage on this thing? Uh, Let me do with the new setup here. Oh, here. Still can use the uh, the HP thing. I got it. I said, Yeah. yeah, it was hidden. Uh, nine points. N- nine points. You said. Correct. Nine points. Okay. Uh, all right. So I gotta. How deep is this pit? Um. It is lucky for you. Um, I well, I lied. You're gonna take only three points of damage, not nine. Oh. Um, okay. And that's because it isn't that that deep. Uh, th- that's the good news. The bad news is the there's a swarm news. of poisonous snakes in there with you. Why did it have to be snakes? Exactly. <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? So okay. there are snakes at the bottom I, I, of that. I, I, it's a little four. 10-foot pit, but... But, yeah, you've got um, a nice swarm of poisonous snakes. So I do have an action left, right? I took my movement. I you did, did your my movement. Bonus. Um, however, you are, um, hmm. normally when you fall, that ends your turn. You're prone. So oh, yeah, oh, you're that... prone and it ends your turn. Cause you got, Ugh, oh, okay. That's it. Um, got it. so I'm going to, I'm going to say that that ends your turn. Okay. And you'll have to try again to figure out what you're going to do about this. Yeah, good news is you have a couple seconds now to think about what you're going to do about those snakes. All the snakes are biting me. Right. I also see some friends. At this point, I would be screaming, get over here. I'm gonna I found a swarm, them. A swarm next to you. That's a little white Great. thing. That's your swarm of snakes. Swarm of snakes. At least it's not a giant constrictor snake or a giant poisonous snake. Could have been one of those. 
This is just a swarm of them. Are you looking for gratitude? It's like bees. Are you fishing for a com for a compliment, Jim? I don't get it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, DM. You're so nice. This is a swarm of tiny beasts, and they are not aligned. So they're not going to kill you out of evil spite. So That's good. Rest just assured. Just out of animal instinct. That they just Yeah, just out of sheer survival. For neutral reasons. They're hungry. Um, okay. Ooh, what is that thing? So... What is what? What are you, friend? That door's They're not open. They're tight. <laughs> There's a, like, a lion? That's supposed okay. to be a door there. I forgot to put a door there. All right, that's okay, because it's open. So you're in a pit. You can't see it. Don't look. Oh, oh, oh got it. But I see. I saw the the two scouts before I went down. I would take. Ah, uh, yes, they are plastered up against yep. the wall. Yep. I wonder if I could put. A Get over there. here. Okay. All right. So you start yelling from the bottom of the pit with snakes hissing at you. Do the whole Indiana Jones landed and one goes Shh, fucking like snakes. Her. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> language strike. Be really grateful that FCC doesn't like. Not nope. the same thing, Kevin. All yeah. right. So um, after that, okay, and okay, and okay. This will be fun. And all right, I believe it's the dog's turn. Well, he's, I'm just, hopefully he just, oh, he's going to do his own thing. Okay. <laughs> he's, just, he's a dog. All right. Um, and you do hear from around his neck, let's get him, boy. Let's get him. Oh, right. I forgot about him. He's been so quiet. Uh, didn't we put him back in the bag of holding? Oh, you did, didn't you? Never no. Mind. And then he doesn't say that. No, I want I wanted to, and nobody else wanted to, I thought. Oh, I thought you tied him up and put him in there. Yeah. Nope. Probably. Okay. He's in the bag. Well, he's I in the bag. Then. All right. He's in the bag. You have him in the bag. Yeah. So don't he let, can't don't, hurt anything. Don't let the cat out of the bag. All right. Um, okay. And okay. dreaming with your little template there. Don't mind right. me. Mm hmm Dream on. Dream on. Oh, boy. All right, Ozis, right, Your turn. Okay, so I'm finally going to fix it. what's coming up. Um, one, two, three. I say hello to everyone. Can I see through this, or is there a door? There's a door. That's a door that I can open up with thermaturgy. Mm, it's barred. It's not locked. But as long as it's a... Nah, it's... Uh, thaumaturgy's a little cantrip spell. It's, 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 yeah. It doesn't lift bars off of the backside of doors. It would be I think you can simple. make unlocked doors like open and close. Uh yeah. Yeah. Same. It's very much like open shutters, blow out candles. Yeah. It's on that level. It's not like I'm going to break into the bank vault. No, no. I have Uma Thurman. Uh, although you probably can it'll probably be a lower DC now that I I partially <clears throat> went to the cork palace. You can instantly cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut.
Okay, I'm just gonna That's hold. That put thieves out of business if he just unlocks stuff. I'm right. gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, a fire bolt on hold in case someone comes out and attacks. Okay, sounds good. And it's my turn. You guys can hear uh, Zith yelling from further that way. Get over here. You... <laughs> There's no right. door here. Here comes a crossbow bolt at you, sir, down in your little pit. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so, I'm going to target you. Target. Corchet. Attack. Uh, I have a question. Since I'm prone, would that be a disadvantage? No, because it's coming from above you. The idea of I'm prone is oh. six inches tall instead of five feet tall, right? The, the spirit of the law. Why did it roll damage? I said attack. All right, here it comes. And I'm not going to even give you do advantage on you. I mean, I should. I should have advantage. I'm not going you to. You can. It's fine. I have stuff. No, it's cool. So um, that's going to admit, thunk, and it shoots into the ground. You're being assaulted by crossbow bolts now. Um, that was the main point of telling you that. Uh, I'm sad that it killed a snake. I'm not going to kill you. I may have killed one or pinned a snake to the ground. Uh, all right, Ezra. Are you holding your action some more? You've wasted your cantrip. So it's not mm -hmm. held anymore. Now what? I feel like there's nothing I can fucking do. It's like, it's like, you know, those bells, if you just hold the outside of the bell and then you use the clapper, it goes, dink. That's instead of bong. It went dink. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. Your spell went off, but didn't bring anything. Uh, do we know where Zith fell? Nope. Uh, you may have seen... You were probably... You could have seen him. Let's see. You saw him run into here. He jumped across the moat and landed over here somewhere and then started yelling. I think he said something. Some, some BS about snakes and get over yeah. here. Now there's a That's moat, all. so you can't you gotta <laughs> run along the outside of the moat and then jump across. There isn't a place for you to jump across right here. It's like okay. one to one and a half feet. I'll head that way. All right, so what you see there, you see two guys in armor. They, they're dressed very much like the two the two guys you fought that told you to um, don't let the zombies get away. There so the zombie short sure. dressed dressed in the same kind of out armored. Oh, outfit. so these are two Chimera more bastards. of the the Chimera crew. Okay, and they look like veterans. What you can't see is Zith and this other white um, icon. Okay, because those are both down ten feet underground. You could probably hear somebody. hear me just yelling and cur and like cursing. Yeah, he's God actually damn it, yelling. Stinks everywhere. He's yelling the verbal yeah. component of a spell right now. I'm guessing. Not I'm so then, dope. As I before I would end my turn, I would yell to the guys that uh, there, there's bad guys this way. And just let them know. Okay. Well, That'll turn. be it. Sounds good. I'm going to draw this pit for you so that you just know where it's at. Here. Okay, I'm going Here. to dash. Here. 35. And since I've run more than 10 feet, I have enough, I have enough clean to long jump. Which, you know, 19 feet, so... All right, need uh, you to make a saving throw, please. This is a yeah, dexterity saving throw to see if you slip in the mud. I'm, I'm here also wondering, am I too big for the pit? Extra muddy. Um, you will cause a serious problem for people at the bottom if you fall in. 
Okay, dexterity it's gonna be time. It's going to be very uncomfortable very quickly. Um, that would be a DC... Do, 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 do. Where is it? I had it just a second ago. Uh, what, did you uh, say 15? Yeah, I'm, I think that's what I said. For, maybe it was 16. Let Either me, way, I didn't make it. Okay. Uh, where'd it go? All right, so you're going to slip and fall prone, and uh, you're going to slide. You're going to smash me? I think right into this pit. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, mm -hmm. my question whoa, was, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm drawing lines. Okay. I am That's currently cool. a large creature, so what happens when I get in there? Um, you're going you to smash do, me. You're going to do some bad bad mojo to the people at the bottom and the snakes. So I want you to, you're going to take a D6 of damage from the 10 foot slide of discomfort into the pit, but you, you can, um, you can jam your feet against the wall opposite of where you're sliding. You know what I'm saying? Like you slide and you start to go into this pit. And so you are just kind of reaching out. You have a pretty good wingspan there. You can reach out and stick your feet. So you're kind of just trying to jam yourself without falling into the pit. I'm going to say that's going to inflict some damage on you just from the strain of doing that at first. So that's where your five hit points of damage are coming from, not necessarily from falling on top of. Um, so would that be uh, two or three? <clears throat> I take half damage. Yeah, so it would be uh, half of that. So it's two. You round down. So it's half of four. All right, so basically, though, you are going to um, kind of just block Zith's egress from the pit. Uh, there's a Also, provide cover. There's a big guy. Yes, right. You now also present yourself as a lovely target for um, these two guys. All right. The ultimate uh, meat shield. But he's now trapped you down here with the swarm of snakes, which I did forget to give initiative. So you said yes, I, was, I did exactly. damage to the, to the creatures down here? No, you didn't. Yep. You stopped yourself from falling. Okay, well. Either way. Unless you want to land on I'm top not... of Zith. Unless, you're, unless you want to land, and then that's fine. No. Okay. I'm going to use action surge. Action surge. All right. So I need a strength uh, athletics check, DC 15, to get yourself untangled from the pit and get out. And I'll let you roll five feet one way or the other to get out of there. Uh, actually, just five feet one way. Good. So that's really works. funny. All right, so I'm going to move you for you. I'm going to move you okay. right here. Okay? So you've kind of worked your way out of the pit, but you are right next to a couple of... Harley's Angels. Yep. What the couple hell of... is that thing? And, oh, and the wow. door is open, and what you see are these two. Yeah, well, you see it. You see these. Um, this lion, that's in there. It's a. It's a really big lion. What the hell? And, Why is there a lion here? Yeah, it's a, it's a big lion, not just and any lion. It's a, it's is that my lion. entire turn? Um, no, no. You can move if you want. So spend half your movement standing. And then you have your movement, and then a, that's it, right? Action search doesn't give you a bonus action, does it? Just gives uh, you nope, the action. I Although I haven't oh. used my bonus action yet. Okay, wait, hold on. You you have action search gives you another action. Doesn't give you more movement. Yeah. So I will say you're still prone because you used your movement and lost your movement sliding into the pit. So normally, um, because you that would end your turn, but you get an action search, which is your action, you use climbing to get out. So you're kind of done there i think you're i think you're fairly well done you're laying there on the side all right after doing the math of your action economy your action surge allowed you to get out from the pit and uh, you're just prone on the side of the pit and question how far away are the naya from me i can't um, see um you left her behind i mean she knew she what that is was. As the as the dragonfly is ninety feet. 
Perfect. Then in my bonus action, I will healing light for six points of healing. Okay. All right. Healing light. As opposed Seven. to regular healing, it's healing light. Yes. Healing light is much weaker. Is that like Bud Light? No. Half the half the calories and. Okay. All right. Um, and yes, very, that ends my turn. Very good. All right. Oh. Damn it. What is it? I just realized that the swarm of snakes rolled decently on in their initiative. All right, well, here we go. But first, oh, okay. Charlie's Angels. Why do the, Charlie's Angels not act? The okay, swarm. The swarm is going to just bite you. Um, it actually has a swarm <laughs> ability. What is the swarm ability? The swarm ability says... can occupy your space and vice versa and the swarm can move through any opening large enough for a tiny snake that's boring it's just gonna bite you this is a melee weapons attack and let's target ziff and attack oh oh that's an 18 uh, let me let me roll for one of my people. Uh, what do I got to do? I got to roll a twenty. So you have you and two others. I do, and I rolled a with two duplicates. So you must roll an eight or higher. I rolled a seventeen. Uh, so that should be good. I, it's just me and one duplicate now. Okay, so that means that it's like ten or higher, and it gets a duplicate. Uh, last one is 10, 11 or higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Lucky dog. Your, your, um, mirror image is poison and it looks horrible. <laughs> it looks like it's in bad shape and it disappears. All right. So that ends that turn. Um, All right. <clears throat> you just hear in your head, why are you lying down? Isn't there a fight going on? I slipped. <laughs> oh, appropriate. Okay. Okay, that's just... Man, you can be very hurtful sometimes. Oh. And also, <laughs> stay out of danger. Although, within 100 feet of me. Okay. All right. Uh... All right, Ziff. What are you going to do? You want to climb out of there? Yeah. So, I I take it that that I'm prone. Yeah. Um. Yes. How much movement? I mean, long 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 story short, with climbing out and being prone, like. How much movement can I have outside of that white square? You move fifteen. You move thirty, right? So fifteen to yep. stand up, and then ten to climb out. Or just five. But then you'll be prone outside the pit. So if you use your dash, you could stand up again outside and have fifteen feet more of. Uh, okay. Um, uh, size the balls. Uh, okay, let's take a look around. Let's make sure I want to do this. Could be really bad. What is that thing? Oh boy, we got a lot of problems here. There are a lot of problems. Okay, is there any? Ch well, I guess I wouldn't know until I got out, right? So, first of all, I'm going to get out. Um, let me just let me figure out where I want to be. Um, 
so I'm out and then five, 10, 15. I want to see what I can, what view I have from here. Hold on before I do this. Uh, be here instead, I guess that would be fine. Um, did one of them move? I just realized that. Um, well, I'm dealing with three dimensions here, so. Oh yeah. Uh, so what's one, what is this thing? Be able to see. I, this thing right here. Yeah. What's the thing next to the camera? What, what, what is that? There. Nothing over there. What? Oh, there's nothing there. I see. Nothing there. Okay. Well, um, hot balls. Okay. So Zith is going to jump out. Uh, he's going to flip around. As he was jumping out, he sees all of these people here, right? Can I? Are these people all here? These people? What people? Are they visible or is it another three-dimensional issue? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Down here? Uh, corner? Oh, there should be a uh, door there. Yeah. You can't see. Oh, so I can't see them. Right. That is a three-dimensional issue. Those balls. Okay. So, damn. Okay. Well, um, I'll do the easy way out for now. Um, I can't do any of these things. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take, um, I'm just gonna take a sword pop at, uh, at this guy right here. Kind of boring, but, um, I just don't have the right angle to do anything really awesome. Uh, Okay, but you have to make a climbing roll to get out of that pit in the first place. We were just talking about what you had. Oh, in front of you. sorry. What 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 roll do you need? Yeah. Is this strength or dex? It is a athletics check. Fifteen athletics check. DC fifteen athletics, which is strength. Um, to get out. Uh, okay. Um, I will. So what? So what if I don't make that roll? What happens? I can't leave the you pit. Just fall back into the pit. Yeah, you're climbing, yeah. trying to climb out. It takes a. So you'll be hanging out with the swarm. Uh, okay. Well, I hate to burn this here, but I'll use my inspiration. Is that a you muster DM up the? Uh, what? Sorry. What? Is that a DM's inspiration? That is the one that you gave me for the island. I don't know what. Oh, happens. that's just a regular inspiration. So you can't burn it on this roll. Regular uh, inspiration, you have to decide ahead of time that you're going to use it, and then you get advantage. Uh, DM's damn, inspiration so, lets you act like you have advantage anywhere in the process. Got it. So that's I, I so basically. Cool. That's why. I, I basically don't leave this pit now, right? I'm back correct. in it, or I'm yes. standing is, up in it, or that something. Is yep, you're standing up in it. You, uh, but you failed your climbing roll, so you didn't make it out. Yeah. How deep? How deep is this pit? Six ten feet. feet. You said ten feet. Ten. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. Um, so that would be my action too, right? There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, climbing is is um, is the action. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I gotta fix that next time. Uh. Yep. All right. Okay. So um, from up on the wall, um, this scout is going to attack Canaeus with a longbow. Oh, no, so they're not actually five feet of me? No, no, they're not. So they're not getting advantage 
and they're not taking Actually, disadvantage. What? Yeah, I was but, gonna say, what, what doesn't me being prone give them disadvantage? I'm harder to hit now. Uh, yeah, normally that would be the case, yes, but they're also above you, so it's not like they're on your plane. Darn so, those yes, stacks of crates. I know. Plus, you are a giant, dude. Yeah, I know. And you're big. <laughs> so do I you can't be that hard to hit. <laughs> what did you say? Out. Did I take any damage? Uh, nope. It missed. Uh, they fumbled Ooh. badly. Uh, all right. So they ended up shooting Zip instead. Um, <laughs> so, how, however, the one that is right next to you is going to take a shot at you with short sword and just poke at you. They will get advantage because you are prone right next to them. Of course. And that's an 18, so that's not enough. And then um, it does a disengage and gets out of the way. The scout runs, kind of leaps over you while trying to stab you and then gets the heck out of the way. Do I get an opportunity of attack? Uh, nope, because it is engaged. All right. Sorry, I'm like disengaging. I know. Okay, Sparky. Sparky is going to come over next to Ezra and bark. Ugh. <laughs> Perfect. Ezra, you All must right. carry that dog over the threshold. This one um, climbs up and is going to take a shot at you with uh, the longbow at uh, Kanaeus that's still attacking you. This one is up on the wall, so she is actually going to get advantage. And Wait, why a 15 would she get misses Could because she's aiming. And but aren't I still prone? Yeah. And she's right above you. So it's almost like you're standing up. Okay. She missed, so I'm not going to argue. That's right. She missed anyway, even with advantage. <laughs> All right. And... Um, okay. Um, I think... fine and then this guy all right so uh, chaos is starting to break out as some of these um, bandits are um, it's like they're getting out of the way oh no yeah I think we're only seeing like the front of that thing that looks like a lion or a tiger Bear, I have a question I can I run to here and then run along the wall? It's only about a foot or so wide. It would be very difficult to do that. But jumping over the moat's not that difficult. It's just landing on the other side people seem to be having trouble with. All right, Ozis. I'm gonna well I'm just gonna move on close to Ezra. Okay. Dash. You can uh th you know if you get close cl close enough, um you want to give us a bless spell, nobody would hate that. I think you can get all four of us if you're feeling lucky. Yeah, but a, I'll, a bless spell is a bonus section about the dash. Oh, you have the dash. I see. I don't see you on the map, so I don't know where you are. Yeah, no. right That's up there. Right. And that'll end my turn. This one's going to try to take a shot at you. This is okay. this guy. And 
this scout is going to attack at disadvantage because it's down on the ground with you. You're still prone. And it rolls a crappy roll. Thump, brrr, hits the wall behind have, you. Uh, it's see not if you're in front of them, they have, they have terrible shots. Yeah. All right, Ezra. On the other side of the moat, you see stuff going on over there. You saw um, uh, Zith's hands reach the top of the pit and then just go and just slide back down with the mud. It looks pretty muddy over there. Um, I'm just taking a look at something real quick. Or this person is from me, 40 feet. Okay, I'm going to, um, uh, All right, let's do guiding bolt. Oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. There we go. There we go. So, guiding bolt. Oh, it hit. I can't hear you. That is a no. <laughs> that is a <Okay>. no. <laughs> um, I guess I can't jump at that point. Uh, Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to hear. Yeah, now I can hear you. I would have to jump over this, and I don't think I have the, uh, since I already used my action, correct? Oh, no, you have your movement. It, it is slippery, and there is a chance that you'll fall in the big pit, but uh, you, yeah. you can still move. Landing on the other side. And remember, the long <clears throat> jump key to... 10 feet of movement. All yep. right. Here it comes. Let's see a dexterity saving throw. Where? Oh, where? That would be I2. Zith would be trying to, like, move over to, like, keep you out of this pit. Ugh. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> man, I'm rolling like shit tonight. I'm going to be honest. We all I'm are, man. best that you're in the pit. Either that, I don't, happen, probably. Right. No, I do not think that is true, but okay. All right, you're going to take a D6 damage hitting down there, and you oh six six points. You landed badly against the wall and smashed down, and uh, it wasn't good. Not great. So uh, being as slippery as it is, um, you are down at the bottom now with the swarm of poisonous snakes who will now have to make a choice. That's right, the swarm will have to choose. Because I don't think it has multi-attack, which is too bad. Um, otherwise, I would just choice. hit all of you. All right. Um, so, do, 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 I think. Man. Does the swarm act now, or does it act on their turn? On its turn. Oh. It's, oh. it's it's a critter. DC 15 deck safe. That's what I was looking for. All right. Uh, all right. So. Now, let's see. We've got um, Kanaeus. Kanaeus. You get to move. You do see Kanaeus. Um, inside that room, there is a lion. And then um, it has kind of a smoky flame sort of lighting up its eyes a little bit. And it's, it growls, and it has a thunderously low growl, just echoing in its rib cage, just in its whole chest cavity. And then there is this other head. It has horn, it's a goat head, and then there is a snake head. There are three freaking heads. Ooh, the Rolling Stones concert. That's right. <laughs> okay, I have a question. 
the throne is stones. There actual, is there an actual door here between me and it? Back it's open. Place? It's open. You you can close it, but you'd have to reach in there to do it. Not a problem. Okay. I will. I mean, we'll get an opportunity. I mean, I'm not actually going in the room, so. Right. Wait, how to get closer to me? Jam. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm just being a jerk. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Just close the door. All close right. So you're in a minute. You have your movement rolling up onto your feet, and you're going to close the door. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Object interaction. Close the door. And I look at the scene around me. Okay. There is a scout up on top of the stair wall, the stairs that lead up to the wall. Um, and that scout is taking a shot at you already. And so. Um, then in that case, I think I'm going to ignore her just so I, get, so I can get more people with one attack. Okay. She has advantage on her. Or you'll have advantage on her. I'm going to attack. Uh, let's see. Need. Let me just check one thing. How, so I'm using the short swords at the moment. I'm actually just trying to figure out how, what this uh, does. Mm -hmm. ten, yeah, ten feet must make a, a DC 16 dexterity saving throw. Okay. Okay. So, so question: Would that get her as well? No. So I made the lines a little darker so you could see. If you want to get the veteran and the scout, then you would need to be here. Uh, yeah, that would be if I was actually attacking using a normal attack on them. Oh, okay. I'm using my Calamo shift. Well, uh, which has a ten foot range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. So they need to make a DC 16 dex save. Let's see how they roll with saving throws. Well, let's see. Um. A miss by the scout and a save by the veteran. Okay, so plus giant smite, that's 3d6, plus a d4 of radiant damage. Is that right? Yeah. So, let's see how much damage they take. Oh, we are way over time. You guys have done it to me again. So, the, the scout takes 14, and the guard I'm... takes seven, 7 points of damage. Okay, scout takes 14, veteran takes 7. Yeah, and bonus action, I'm going to attack with the, with the, the sh I'm going to, you know, attack again on the scout. Mm -hmm. so let's just attack normal. So the 12 hit. Yep. Uh, nope. It does not. Okay. And that was my turn. Okay, so um, we can play for another two hours. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, one of the yeah, might be able to. one of the main things I use as my guide for how late it is and to look at the clock is I I get tired. I'm tired, but I'm not <laughs> tired. I'm not tired tonight. So you guys, screw me I would, up. I I want to keep playing. I'm not tired. Yeah. But I cannot. But I have to get, get up early tomorrow for work. All right. So here's where we're going to end this round. Um, stepping out from the door you just closed is a someone who looks like they're in charge. Is that a book with a magnifying glass? It it is. It's exactly what that is, or it's actually one of the minions. That's what I thought at first. Wait, I can't really see it, Jim. I can't. I'm outside, trying to avoid the mud. It's okay. It's not actually a portrait. 
So yeah. it's Riga. It's the the portrait of the master thief is uh, mostly just that books and magnifying glasses and whatever. There's different things, P pouches. Um, so she steps out. She is dressed to the nines in um, just really interesting gear, black leather. She has the chimera, um, just like all the others had, like you saw the um, tattoo. She has it embroidered. She, um, and she just, she stepped out after opening the door and she goes, Ash breath, dinner time. Do start with the Ooh. main entree. And it comes crawling out. And it has big bat wings and um, it looks pretty nasty. So it uh, it steps out and uh, growls and puts its sights on Canaeus. And that is where we are going to end for this week. Again, 42 minutes overtime. Holy crap. That's it. Yeah. Successfully distracted me. So don't right. forget to like and crush the subscribe. Sm smash it, crush it. Yeah. Do all of the above. That's Thank what all guys. the <laughs> so good deal hope you guys enjoyed it this week uh, we will see you next week and in the meantime we'll see you in the discord take care